came to town Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, guys. Glad to have you here. Shout out to Mr. Larson coming in with five gifted subs when I wasn't even live. Oh, madman. Yellow World, thank you for the four months. Talk to Crow, thank you for the eight months. Ali P with five gifted subs as well. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the generosity. Thank you for supporting the stream. Lonza. I think of the five dollars is dear redacted. I just about gave up on catching a stream and was gonna go to bed. Glad I stayed up. Uh, can do with a little. Glad I stayed up. Can do with a little sleep. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course, man. Renef, thank you for the four months. Thank you for the support, guys. Speaking of support, this stream is sponsored by ExpressVPN. We'll get to that later, though. Big things. Big things, man. Last stream. Was the one we ended at the dock, right? No. No. 
we ended here in the snow. Uh We've got some drama, guys. Wallaby. Okay, so the gang's still up here. But Wallaby had a, uh, a fight with Peaches about 30 minutes ago. I've got it recorded. Um, show it. I could show it. It goes for like 20 minutes though. Um, the fight was basically... When we came up here, it, we made it very clear. Like, everyone stay up north. Stay together. We'll get together and we'll discuss what we do next, right? We, we, we stay together. No one go off by themselves. And uh, Peaches went off and went by herself. Went to towns and shit, man. So Wallaby and her had a bit of a fight. Um, Wallaby was like, you know, the fuck are you doing? You know, the, the last time you were out by yourself, you got caught by law. They arrested you, arrested you for no reason whatsoever. Beat you, tortured you. Why the fuck are you by yourself? Um, and then she said something that really set him off. And that was, this happened to me. And he lost his fucking shit and said something along the lines of, I didn't hear you saying that back when everyone here went off and killed those people that drugged you. Because that happened to you, but everyone here killed for you. None of those people did anything to any of us. But you weren't complaining then sort of thing. And then, um... She said she doesn't want to be up in up in the north because it reminds her of like the Hagens and stuff. Um, so Wallaby's agreed to move back down south. Now Peaches is over there. I'll show you the clip of when she said this happened to me. I'll show you that. That way you get some context as to the last conversation we had. One second. You can barely hear it because Wallaby at this point had already stormed off. <laughs> Wallaby had heard enough because she was saying she, she was making excuses to why she left. And Wallaby just didn't want to hear none of it. So he walked off and sat in here and then he overhears her saying, everyone's just telling me what to do. This happened to me. And then whew, you can barely hear it, but trust me, that's what she says. Here we go. This is full volume. Now it is. Okay, here we go. Are you fucking kidding me? So she just said, everyone keeps telling us, telling me what to do. This fucking happened to me. And now Wallaby's getting up. <laughs> here we go. So that again. This was about half an hour ago. All oh, right, it's all about you, huh? I'm not saying that. That's what you just I'm fucking that said. I have some choice. choice of what? We haven't even fucking done anything. The whole point was that we get together, we talk it out, and we decide together what we do. Now everyone's just saying what to do. Just fucking say it. I told you what to do. This happened to you. Well, go ahead. You want to go do your own thing? Go ahead. This happened to you. Well, fucking Jack. You know what else happened to you? Just you. 
when those fucking people came back and took you and everyone here hunted and looked for you for days these people fucking killed for you those folk didn't do nothing to them they didn't know them that happened to you So I don't want to hear that fucking bullshit again. We're in this together. Every single one of us. And sure, I might say what to do now and then. But it's always in the best interest of everyone here. Not just me. Not just you. Everyone. And if you don't like that, you come to me. And you tell me. You don't skulk off in the fucking night. And that's uh, that's the last conversation we had. <laughs> that's that's the last combo we had. So. That was about 30 minutes ago. Uh, and now she's over there. I mean, listen. Wallaby. Okay, Verts, I'm 100% sold on Wallaby DEG going back to DEK. Dead end killers. <laughs> Vert Glor, Vert Wall. Listen, we don't, need to kill, we don't need to kill anybody else, man. I'm tired of killing people. Rise of TV, thank you for the nine months. Disby, I see you in the chat. Disby. Where's Timmy? Speaking of murder, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I was gonna say, fuck. Wallaby is so just disconnected from like real emotion nowadays. Like it, it's it's still there. It's it's like buried so fucking deep. Like he has not comforted her at all after all of this. Like at all. Is zero ounce of like he uh, did he even hug her? He might have hugged her once. That's not to say he doesn't care. He does, but the way that he shows it is very disconnected. Um, his focus is to keep her safe, and that's what's frustrating him. He's just an asshole. I wouldn't call him an asshole. I mean, from the outside, absolutely. Like, the outside looking in, he, he's a, he looks like a complete dick. But I, there's not many people that care for every single one of these guys more than him. Probably no one. There's probably no one that cares for this group more than him. And that's, like... But he doesn't show that, like, at all. It's really hard to, uh, to RP out, because I, I fucking hate it, man. You know... Because Wallaby used to be such a emotional character. So it's like this fine balance of I still gotta I wanna roleplay him as an emotional character. Like he still does things. But he doesn't he doesn't show it. Like he'll do something and he he he's doing it for the safety of others but he won't like show that hand he'll just do it at he'll just play it off as part of the plan or we do what we gotta fucking do shit like that no he won't he won't ever he won't ever show that hand anymore because it's been used against him too many times and they tried to use it against him just the other day uh, this is what i'm talking about this is what this is what i mean wallaby has always had his weakness. His weakness has always been his, he cares, right? And for the last, I think, two months, he's actively tried to brush that away because it's something that's always been used against him. And they tried to use it again. They, they brought Peaches to Sissica because they thought if we hurt someone he loves... He'll break. And the whole point is 
as hard as it was for him to watch that happen, if he had broke and given them what they wanted, Law could go back and say, yeah, it was fucked up, but it worked. And that's Wallaby's weakness. But because they didn't get shit, now they look bad. Now they look bad. And now they're sitting back going, fuck. Well, if he didn't crack because Peaches was getting tortured in front of him, like, what do we do? So as hard as that was for him to watch, the greater plan overall, unfortunately, for the safety of everybody, was to let it happen. As well, we talked to Cesari. Haven't talked to anybody. We haven't left the snow. Red Hawk, think of the five months. Appreciate that. Oh, she's holding up. Um, she has a lot of ideas and she's not in a good way. She started telling me about propaganda. So I think she's got a plan in mind that you might want to hear. That was the whole point of coming up here. Yeah, I know. All right, we're headed. Uh, we're all ready to go. Yep. So yes, yeah, so. All right. Damn. Let's uh head back down south then. Get it up. Make it known. Saw Rabbit in Coulter yesterday as well, Dakota and I. Interesting. Same with Malone. Rabbit was by herself. You saw Malone in Coulter? Yeah. Both of them yesterday. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll still be there. left rock yeah then we go right over here yeah, it's all dark you laid the way
powerful. He's running away. Motherfucker ran away from me. <laughs> it should come back around on the other side. It happened to me yesterday. All right. I'll follow them. Follow the lights. So hard to see, Very man. It's so sick that. Oh, it doesn't go as a thing. Oh, it's mine. That's mine, but you can have it. Oh. Uh, oh, there he is. Hey, hey, dude. I'm just, I'm just soaking up the atmosphere, guys. All the lights in here. It's gonna get hard to see. You said Rabbit and Malone were over here? Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah.
Where'd that person go? Hello, friend. What are you here? What are you say? How's it going? What are you, a ranger? Oh, uh, you see. Alfred! Alfred! <gasps> Edwin! Alfred, how you doing, man? I mean, what the fuck? Um, I mean, what you doing up here, Alfred? I'm uh, just restocking the boxes up here. How you doing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Say, hey, Alfred, man, uh, there been in, anybody else come up around these parts? Or? Uh, I've been fairly lonely, to be honest. Oh, all right. Yeah. I haven't seen any lawmen around. Uh, not since I got up here. I haven't been up here that long, though. Okay. All right, well, good seeing you, uh, Alfred. Yeah, it's good seeing you, too. Hey, Alfred. Uh, yeah. You didn't see me. Uh, okay. Sure. <laughs> he probably wasn't going to say nothing. <laughs> Take it easy, Alfred. Check the grams. Ranger, friend of yours. Listen, it was. He's actually quite a nice guy. I mean, yeah, he was. Yeah. Know yeah. from back in the day. Fine, Trojan. Yeah, I mean, he taught me where to hunt. I mean, he was the guy that taught me to do all that hunting stuff. You know? Is he the one that taught you about the shit? It's Richard Eastwick, aka the Wally Kid. I don't uh, know why no, I'm writing to you. Else, Is it? It was him and Major. Because you have taken that, something from me, which I cannot be returned. Anyway. Sorry, cannot be returned. Uh, you can still or... like them. Is it because <coughs> I used to look up to you? Well, wow. that's nice. What a nice guy. I don't know, but uh, when I first came to the crossing, I heard the tales of the Wallaby Kid and the Dead End Gang. They used to fill me with wonder and hope. They sounded so darling. Darling? Daring. <laughs> I'm so awake. Here, here is a bunch of kids down on their luck <coughs> that they would band together. To look after each other. Even though they would commit crime, they did it to survive and protect each other. It all sounded so noble. But now, since you have taken my brother away, the stories just feel hollow. Hollow. Whatever. So now I have to work extra hard not to just support myself, but Dale's wife and son. Here we go. It's not easy between my shifts at the general store. I go and pick oranges. There just doesn't seem to be enough money to go around. Dale's brother. He wants money. Oops. Uh, the wallaby kid. He wants forty dollars. Perhaps I can make it up to you. Care to meet? We'll just offer him some money. Just buy him off. <laughs> Whoopsies. Might have just killed Hart. Who knows? Left the mountain just like you said not to. Feeling sassy. I'm gonna fucking throw off the waterfall, man. Things are bad. Hey, kid. Heard a few things here and there about what happened. My condolences. My apologies if I couldn't be there for you yesterday. We had business outside of the city. We're back now, though, and can meet. I'm hoping you ain't behind bars. If so, we can also meet with one of yours and ain't locked up. Let me know. Okay. Cesare. Cesare Dicenzo. Wallaby Kid. I am not in jail. <clears throat> Best we talk in person. Get that out there. Dakota. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Rocco, where is everyone? Haven't heard anything from anybody in the last few days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wallaby. We are headed 
from the snow down to the Valentine area. Uh, okay. I sent Rocco a telegram letting him know we're around, but and I'll update him once we uh figure out where we're going. Uh, uh ship the law office. We're already done that, man. We can't keep shooting it up, okay? We're not degenerates, dude. Be tele telegram, Randy. <sighs> I was gonna say something, but I'm not gonna. Is there a stable here? There is a stable. Ooh. Ooh. Give me one second. No, All right. Flash. Ah. Uh -huh. That's someone's horse with a box on it. Where's the open stable? Okay, let me just take this box off first. Box I need? Oh man, yeah. Let's go. Oh. I just fucked it, didn't I? He's dead. He's dead. Where did he, where'd he go? He's uh, in here. There he is. Nope. That's not what I want. Where the fuck is the reckoning at? Did I put that in my bank? I might have put it in the bank! It's not on Stan, man. There's nothing on Stan. Stan. Stan's got nothing. <laughs> uh, Law took it. No, no. Law didn't take it. I think I might have put it in the slaughterhouse or I put it in the bank, but we got to get that bad boy because that's the gun I'm going to use. Ugh. Fuck me. All right. Eh. Pretty crazy stuff, man. That last stream. Let me let me just put it this way. This this current arc that we're on, this current situation, is perhaps the most important arc we've ever had, period. Across all characters. This is server changing. This is bigger than anything we've ever done. This is huge. This is huge. So we need to we need to treat it with a lot of respect. It's all from a Valentine bank job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where the craziness happens, man. Unexpectedly. That's RP, bro. That's why it's gold. That's why we love it so much. So it's been a fight for the last 48 hours. Yeah, this has provided a lot of RP for a lot of people. And the last thing that we want to do is rush it. The last thing we want to do is devolve it into just us riding out and gunning down law. We need to treat this with a lot of respect. 
and we're going to make sure that it is satisfying for as many people as possible, including you guys. And, uh, just enjoy the fucking ride, man, because this is going to get crazy. Like, imagine if all we did now was get six people, ride in the town, pick a fight with law, and then we get gunned down, taken to jail. It's like, instantly, it's like... Tension's gone, everything's gone. Oh, so, um... Follow my voice. Follow me, I'm blind again. No, just, you just gotta see me, just follow me, I know where I'm going. If you got a lantern, it helps people behind you to see. I don't have a lantern. Just don't lose. <laughs> Not about that, man. It would, it would kill all tension. It's gonna be more meaningful than that. We did... <clears throat> we did something that hasn't happened too often. Now, we've had, we've had corrupt law before. We've had law do crazy things, right? Like a rogue lawman will do something. <clears throat> but we've never seen... In, in the history of the server, as far as I know, we haven't seen a group of law like two or three law, do something that crazy and that blatantly wrong. <clears throat> and that's going to shake up the department because if it was just one rogue law dog, <clears throat> you could just fire that person and be like, haha, problem solved. But when it's multiple, that's 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 more than just one person losing their minds. That's that's a collective group, which means there's probably more than that collective group that would agree with it. Which means the department is going to be some of the funnest fucking viewing probably ever. It's going to be cutthroat. It's going to be like fucking King's Landing over there, man. And the thing is, that's what we need to feed off of. Because Wallaby, let me just put you into the mind of Wallaby right now. Wallaby is like, if we go out and target law, we're signing our death warrant. Uh, you can't take on the law. You can't take them on head on. They're not a gang. You shoot down one lawman, another one pops up. They'll always replace. You, you'll never win. So what do we want? We want Rabbit. We want Malone. We want Sand. Now, if those lawmen lose their badge, you're no longer going head to head with the department anymore. They're civilians. That's a different situation altogether. All right, spit it up. How does Wallaby plan to make them lose their badge? Public opinion on the law department is very important to them, man. We've won mental warfare before. We can do it again.
You gotta play it smart, man. You have to play it smart, it's the law. And they're the biggest threat imaginable. They're an unstoppable force. You can't take on a beast like that. Not head on. But they have their weaknesses. Morality. We don't have that problem. They've been all over cold rangers and deputies. I think they must have gotten a tip we were out there or something, because every time I was there, there were people. Also, um, I might have fallen asleep and woken up, somehow bonking my head against the wall. And the rangers had to come and save me. I told me my name was Sunshine Rainbows. Convincing. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we're going to send today. We got some tires to speak to. <clears throat> Arriva Derchi. <whistles> telegram Rocket. Rocket didn't telegram me back, so he might not be around. Was that him there? I think him? everybody's going through an identity crisis. Oh. Who's that behind us? And by everybody, I mean Scout and Rocco. Take the oh, there's Rocco there. I don't care what you say. I never looked that ridiculous. I never looked that ridiculous. <clears throat> Your head's ten feet tall. It, it is. wanted to be a pillar of something too and i mean since i can't be a pillar of the community you're just a pillar no i'm just a fucking pillar <laughs> if we get in a gunfight 
You're gonna be moving uh -huh. from cover to cover, and they're just gonna watch your little hat go from one spot to another. Scout, you know that the, that's the beautiful thing about a hat, you can take it off whenever He's alive? Yeah, he's in Cisco. I think you could use it to distract them. You gonna grow a mustache? I could shave. He grew a beard up in the snow. Now I can decide if I want to trim it, have a have the stash back, or keep the beard. This is a morning beard, man. For Jack. around the OG hat for this arc. This is his hat, man. Wallaby. What? You're going to be meeting the Italians with stripes on. Why not? I just figured you want to get a little bit more comfy in this arc. I am comfortable. All right, then. In that case, you look wonderful. Are you going to start wearing stripes too soon? Uh, no. Just saving myself from the trouble of getting dressed later. <laughs> Why? You mean we're gonna end up back there? I don't think so. You never know. I got a feeling this time around. I've got statements from you guys? Mm, no. But apparently Peach has had like fucking 10 telegrams from Law. Which is interesting. Alright, we're home. Roads. So, sir, would any of you fine folk be interested in a shoe shine? Oh, the moment, fella. Maybe another time. Have a good one, Ed. Why the stripes?
to remind him man what happened. Zaki, thank you for the six months, half a year, dude. Love, Love you too. This crate's full of gold, right? I'm gonna offload this. Castamere gold. Thank you for the nine months, dude. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Thank you for the support. Bob, thank you so much for the gifted sub, bro. How you doing? Please come on in. Thank you. Good to see you all. Good to see you too. Good to see you as well. Looking good, huh? Hey, big yo. Ed, what do you hear? What do you say? Yeah. Hey, come here, man. Yeah. It's been a long few days. Yeah. How's everybody doing, eh? You guys okay? Where the could be about all. Yeah. It's quite a lot of, uh, maybe not a lot, but four or five at least officers and or deputies, rather, deputies and sheriffs in town. Which ones? Uh, we saw Hart. About uh, 30, 45 minutes ago. He was all injured and shit. Um, Stone. And the others were... Small time. Right. Suppose you've heard the news. Yeah. Sorry to hear he's gone, eh? Yeah, we can talk about that, but maybe not out here. Yeah. Come on in. Everybody, let's go. Howdy. Is that Sunny? Welcome back to the house. It's a sight for sore eyes. Been seeing nothing but snow. Or as far as I could see. Yeah. Good to be I'd back. Have your seat, but... Yeah. Hair don't look too bad. What'd you say? I said the hair don't look too bad. 
my hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it shaved in Sissica. Yeah. You're not making fun of me, are you? No, no, absolutely not. I've been there. Been there, done that. Looks okay, though. Seriously. A little bit more medicine. Oh. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. All right. Before we get into anything, I'd like to congratulate you. Welcome home. Thanks, kid. Feels like we um never left. Saint Denis isn't Saint Denis without the Dichonzos now, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But enough about me. Enough about us. What the hell is going on, kid? We're in the midst of a war. Things are happening. Things have happened. It changes the game. The rules have been changed. Turned upside down. Up is down. Down is up. New rules. New fucking rules. What have you heard? I heard there was a deal that was uh, pending. Hart for Mr. Reed. They found Hart and... Well, they didn't hold their end of the bargain. So they killed them. <laughs> There's a little bit more to it than that. I read. What the hell? You see, I took Mr. Hart during a bank job. He has slighted me many times in the past, bringing up the dead, burning us and such. I required payment, so I took him. Replaced him somewhere for the sum of $10,000. The law were not best pleased by this. During negotiations, they ambushed us. They didn't even ask about their sheriff, where he was, whether he was alive or dead. They took us in. They really wanted to know where he was, but I was smarter than to have him with me. He was hidden away someplace else. And I made it very clear. Only I could communicate with the person who had him hostage. So rather than cut us a deal, they put us into Sissica. For holding until they determined what they were going to do. Now mind you, Irene here had nothing to do with any of this. In fact, she wasn't even aware what I was doing. And she woke up the next day. The law picked her up. She wasn't wanted. They just took her, <laughs> brought her to Sissica, had us all chained up. Irene, tell them what they did to you next. Well, mind you, before that. They had said a lot of things. They had brought me in. I 
after chasing me with uh, no real explanation, it asked to re read my telegrams, which at the time I ain't read all of them, so I said, no, let me read them first and I'll give them over. I don't really know what's going on. They said, oh, so you ain't cooperating. And I said, I will cooperate if you play with me, not against me. I ain't want Wallaby to hurt neither. We all want the same goal here. We can work together. And they lie. And they said, okay, get on the boat. So they brought me over and started saying all these things. About how I was just a pawn of Wallaby and I'd be a pawn to them too. And how, even if I ain't know all this shit, well, I'm with the dead end gang, so I deserve whatever I get. Mind you, I thought it was a bit of a bluff, to be honest. I always thought pretty highly of deputies, cause, not necessarily cause, uh, you know, I, I want to work with them or nothing, but I just don't like the idea of painting people in the same light for the actions of a few bad deputies, you know. So anyway, they uh, sprayed me out in front of them. Put me in cuffs and knocked me to my knees. Rabbit holds a knife to my cheek. Starts taunting Wallaby, asking where he is. Wallaby ain't budge. So she slices my cheek. Still ain't budge. So then she tells Booker, you take her, maybe whack her on the head a few times, so Booker does and nothing happens, you know, go back and forth and then Rabbit throws me to the ground, Rabbit tells Booker to throw me to the ground rather and, um, you know, somehow bullet ended up in my shoulder. I was on the ground and Rabbit stood over me. Still taunting, going back and forth and digs her their little heel into my wound. Which, you know, hurts a little bit. And then, nothing else happens, you know, still a stalemate. So they smash my face in with their boot. I gotta be honest, I don't remember much after that, but I did remember when I was in the doctor's office, Rabbit coming in and having a little private word to me. And the look in their eyes is all right. My god, I, I realized it weren't no bluff. And I asked why she was doing this, why they were doing this, and um, they said this ain't about heart no more. This is about taking away something he loves. And I saw murder in their eyes. I knew they were gonna... They were gonna kill me. I didn't know at the time the reason this weren't about heart no more was because they had gotten a telegram while they were torturing me, saying that heart was found. They said, you wait here, you get seen by them doctors, we'll be back for you. Booker found out that my charges weren't read. I wasn't wanted for nothing. 
Apparently, I had fleeing and eluding, which I think is a little bit funny considering um, I hadn't done no crime to be fleeing from. And, uh, you know, a bunch of deputies running after you, of course, he's going to flee from them. But I also had Aiden in a bed, in which I thought was pretty funny, too, because, again, I had just woken up when they had gotten me. I hadn't really read all my telegrams, didn't know that Hart was kidnapped at all. Um, so Booker, she got really upset and she apologized to me. She said she doesn't hurt civilians, that I don't belong here. She put me on an, in Dakota, whose time I guess had been served or something, and we got on the boat. She was bringing me back to the mainland when Rabbit, Malone, Sam, <coughs> and Rip Sorry. intercepted us in the water. Booker told them that I was a civilian and I didn't belong in there. They held up some papers and said that they had a writ of execution for me. And that they needed to bring me back. After some back and forth, you know, they ended up bringing me back. He went aside and talked for a little bit. And Booker was real upset, saying that she, she weren't going to let it happen. But I didn't believe that because I saw Rabbit's eyes, and I know Malone and what he's capable of, that fucking monster. We all know what they're capable of. Surely they'd be capable of telling some lies to Booker so that they could do whatever they wanted. They walked me up to the gallows, told Jack Reed to come up there too. Rabbit. And Malone and San beforehand were talking, told us that they had gotten a telegram that Hart was okay. And, um, they said they didn't need us no more. So they walked us up to the gallows. Rabbit put a gun to my head and read me out my last rights. Asked if I had any last words for anyone. Was gonna die. I really did. But when they pulled the trigger, it was just a click. It was all a joke. It was all a joke, and um. And then... I'm gonna say what happened to Jack. Jack. Malone stepped forward and said, does anyone have anything last to say to Jack? And before we could open our mouths, Cesare, <clears throat> Malone shot him in the back through the heart and said too late he didn't even give that man his dying words not a single word as you can see the rules have been changed. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ. That's right. Lawmen acting like outlaws. Well then, they should expect to be treated as such. Now, let me just say, this is just the beginning. This could happen to any one of you. They're just another gang. We've always said it. Everybody has always said it. How public is this? You're the first person we've actually talked to about it. Anything that's out there is rumor. The details of what you heard today is the truth of what happened. These motherfuckers. They've truly lost it. All of it. I'm sorry. Mr. Reed. Murdered. Not executed. Murdered. By Marty Malone. Jesus, I'm, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Uh, torturing peaches? That's a lot, man. It, this has never happened before. I also did say, um, I mean, I, I, I believe my mind is a little bit fuzzy, so um, maybe I'm misremembering how the conversation went, but as we passed the telegram station, I asked if I could check my telegrams before we go over there. They said, you let us read it, and I said, eh, eh, I mean, I, I probably would, and they're saying that that was the reason that I was aiding and abetting, because I didn't immediately say yes. I said, I, I'd, I'd like to read them first or something. But I had nothing to do with the situation. I did not know what was going on. And the most information I had was... From the deputies who brought me in. The fuck is that? Oh, it's Rook. <laughs> I was used, <clears throat> and they were upfront about that. They wanted to take something away from him, because while they were at, while they were torturing me, they knew that they had heart. So all of this was for nothing, just for their own vengeance and to send a message. Hmm. Well, we got the Do message. You... Loud and clear. That's what outlaws say out west. Oh, yeah. As you can see, this is a delicate situation. The next move is very important. They might be a gang, as you say, but that's a gang with unlimited resources. You cut down one, another grows. Yeah. They are yeah, that's unstoppable. Right. <laughs> that's why we need to be smart. And I was telling my people, you kill a law dog, a sheriff, you take them and you kill them. In the first degree, they will strike you down. Kill a civilian, though, it's a different situation. Law have a weakness. Their fucking morality. 
We need to make sure the crossing knows what happened. We need to put pressure on the law that these folk that did this are punished accordingly. I might not be able to murder Sheriff Rabbit without the law crashing down on me, but I sure as hell can kill Rabbit if she's a civilian. Huh. Yeah, it's open season if she, uh is removed from the department, that's for sure. All three of them. Rabbit, Malone, and Sand. I will see their heads rotting on pikes out front of the slaughterhouse before I'm done. There's a lot of work to be done. I'm a patient man. I ask of you. Not to fight with me. Not to bleed for me, but to tell the truth. They committed murder. They tortured an unwanted person. We need law to fill that pressure around them. Kill Marty, please, lol, love ya, V O I T Z. Propaganda. Truth. You got it, kid. Truth. Above everything else. If we go out and start shooting down law dogs, they will rally behind one another. They will fortify up and it will galvanize them and unite them once more. We must let this simmer. Let the cracks break. Let them show their bellies. And then... I'll stick the knife in. Sissy with me. What the fuck is this world come through, kid? They've lost their minds. They've set foot in our world. <laughs> They'll realize we're much better here than they are. This is what we do. Context. All right. Yeah. He just left. Interesting. Okay. Alright kid, you have our full support, we'll spread the word, like a fire, 
Don't need the telegram or the, or the newspapers for this. We've done it before. We have our ways. And while you're fighting your battle, while you're fighting, while you're fighting the war, we'll be in the back. Spreading the word. Making sure everybody knows. The city will know. The whole cross will know. I'm Shandani, Tumbleweed. One more thing. None of these law dogs can be touched from anybody. Period. Any of these sheriffs get killed. It's over. We cannot make a martyr out of any of them until the time is right. Oh Man. shit! The junk! <laughs> the fucking junk! You gotta be careful with it. As soon as you open it, it goes bad. Stop pouring, you can't really stop. Also, when you're holding it, it can be delicate. Don't go through any doors or anything like that, it could break. Be careful with it. This. Well, it should only be used in final instances. And kid, it's gotta be you the one that uses it. The fire, it's a bit finicky. Oh, okay, I got you. I understand. Now, we might not be able to fight this war with you, physically. But that's the Dicenzo jug right there. <laughs> yeah, baby. Give him hell. Burn him to a crisp. Oh, hell's gonna be considered heaven when I'm done with them. Give me a second. I appreciate everything as always. Always good. Got each other's backs. When's this meeting? Is it still happening? Friday. I'll be there. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Cesare, as always. I appreciate everything. I really do. And I won't forget it. Don't die too easy now, kid. I don't intend to. They're gonna have to earn that one. I might be getting slower, but not that slow. This is huge. Remember what I said. I will. All right. We stunk out this place bad enough. We'll be in touch. 
buona fortuna. Buona yeah. caccia. Happy hunting, kid. Thank you. Eddie, I gotta jog Eddie. This jug in the bank right now, man. Hitch is mad, yeah. It's gonna be interesting. When you get a moment, can I talk to you about me? Yeah. Oh. DC hugs two, Peaches hugs zero. Oh shit. You're right. <laughs> Shout out to the Dicenzos, man. Fucking best RPs on the server. I wish I, I wish I was as good, man. It's so hard to keep up with. It's like I got to sprint to keep up with their jog. <laughs> Much love. And their community is so fucking cool, man. They've always treated me with nothing but love. Love them, guys. Give give them all a follow. I think I, I don't know how many of them are streaming right now, but Zetark, get in there. Give them a follow. Oh, cool. The, look at all the, <laughs> the Dicenzos in the chat. Hell yeah, guys. Hello, fucking yeah. Reckoning. There you are, baby. There's me, girl. There it is. That's the last jug in existence, man. And they were trying to get like 10k for that fucking thing. They gave it to us for free. That's huge, man. It just shows how far relations with uh, Dicenzos have come because we were at odds for a long time. But we never we never escalated to violence. And I think that I think that like set a foundation. It's like it's so strong now. It's like we went through so much shit and came out of it okay. So there's like a trust there. It's definitely my horse. I'm just saying it's a beautiful horse. Thank you on behalf of whose horse it is. Oh, sure. <laughs> Teachers, that man likes her horse. Yippee. All right, we'll head somewhere for a chart. <laughs> Here comes a fight, boys. Here comes a fight. <laughs> oh, watch our telegrams first and then we'll head out. Yeah. <clears throat> sunny, has so much Sunny respects the kid. It's gone a long way, man. Because I think Sunny, like we've all, we've always been pretty tight with Cesari, but Sunny's kind of been lukewarm on us at best. And I think Sunny's really come around, uh, especially the way Wallaby's changed. You remember some of our first interactions? I don't know if I. I I um. I don't know if I streamed, like, the first interactions with Vicen Vicenzos was, like, them kidnapping Missy and Wallaby and threatening to cut his fingers off and shit. <laughs> the shotgun went a long way. Yeah, yeah, that, that was that was a really smart move by us, not gonna lie. We're gonna burn someone, probably. HZ. Oh, it's the brother. Oh, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I'm terribly scared of meeting you, and I don't think there's anything you can do to make it up to me. 
I just want these feelings to go away. I know things can't go back to the way they were, but I was told that sending you these letters I write every day will help me bring closure to my brother's death. I didn't expect you to respond. Now I don't know if I should send any more letters. Oh, my life is such a mess. Dale's brother. It doesn't even... Dude, it's just Dale's brother. Valentine. Wallaby. Face your fears. Uniquely. Signed, Dale's brother. I should have signed it. Signed, Dale's murderer. <laughs> yeah, well. They probably make things worse, right? All right, let's see what. Oh god, this isn't. I got to. Yeah. You see the jug they gave me. Oh. <laughs> you wanna have fun with that, huh? Yeah, we're gonna have to save that for something. Oh. I'm real special. <laughs> the thing is, I think he was like, was he on the server when there used to be jugs? I think he was, right? I've never seen the jug in use. I've seen it like a clip of it, but I've never seen it like actually happen. I'd, I'm scared of fucking it up. I think you just pour it out and then shoot it, right? And it lights up. Dude, wait until we have like Malone or Rabbit at our mercy and then Wally pulls the jug out. Whoever it is is going to shit themselves. The eyes widen. Should let the peaches do it? Depends who it is. If it's Malone, no. If it's Rabbit, yes. Someone's horse. Who the fuck is that? I was gonna I was gonna have a meeting in there, but I guess not. I wonder if words got around that we're we're writing about. Probably. All right, we hitch up here and talk on the dock. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Big group. Thank you for the gift, sub buddy. That meta must have been fucking mind blowing for them. It's cr like when you hear the story, it sounds like it's made up. It has to be made up. It has to be, right? Like, that's fucking insanity. Z-Talk is still shocked. Yeah, I don't blame you, man. It's fucking crazy. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Speak French. Well, that's nice, man. Congratulations. <laughs> Motherfucker took my shirt. Are you wearing Wallaby's shirt? Unfucking believable. I, I can't wear it. Like, it's my. Fuck it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to pick something. But okay. yes. Why does no one, no one ever wore this shirt? And I fucking wear it. Now everyone wears it. Well, honestly, it's like the first one in the pile. Honestly. So if you're just picking something no, random. No, no. I've never seen anyone wear it until when I started wearing it. It's, that's a fact. I know I exactly know. what you mean. I know exactly what you mean, right? I mean, I'm well, here's the wearing thing. this I was tomorrow. Yellow. Everybody's going to wear it. Everybody's yeah, going to wear it tomorrow. I set trends is what I do. I'm a trend setter. Yeah, oh. there you go. You think those old striped pants are going to catch on eventually too? Well, son. Do not make fun of my pants. They are a reminder of what happened in there. So, so that's this, this, why you're wearing them. This is all kind of kind of news to me. The thing that happened with Jack. So he was just murdered. 
Without That's getting right. to say any fucking last words, nothing. No last words, nothing. Just shot in the back, and then Malone said, too late. Like it was a fucking joke. And they did that fake execution for me so that we'd think that it was fake for him too, I know. Alcatraz, you fucking maniac. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I thought they, they gotta They gotta die. Yeah, they do. I thought that we were gonna talk about how we were gonna go to people first before we went. Together. We're, we're gonna what? Talk about how we approached people as a group first. You just yelled at me for that, right? Right. We, so we, we did speak about what we were gonna do. You weren't there for it. Oh. Right. Okay. Well. You're mad you're not, you weren't there. That's not our fault that you weren't there. Right. Okay. Nevertheless, but it was good what was done there today. We were, you know, you, you made individuals. No, 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 no. no. I think it's, I think it's very important aware, that we know? address this. You're trying to spin this around on me, huh? Hey, man, I, I just wore your shirt. I mean, I can change it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you Finally, Eddie's wearing the shirt. No big deal. Not I mean, I, let's, I, I go back to, to the yellow I one. I wanted to have some input in this, too. That's what I'm saying. Well, I wanted you to have I'm input sorry, as well, but you weren't I'm there. Sorry I wasn't there, Wallaby. I am. You're out there talking to Hart and saying Malone and all that. Yeah, and that was short-sighted. But I was fucking angry seeing them. I didn't go searching out for them. I did not set up a meeting with them. And I did not reply to their telegrams asking me to meet until I spoke to you. That was spoken out of anger and it was a mistake. However, I still want some input on how this happens. I didn't want to talk about all that in front of other people. I don't know. I just... I just as RA, I would have loved to say it in front of him. But do you know how embarrassing it is? I feel fucking embarrassed. <laughs> I'm angry and I really want to do this right too. Um, I, I, I don't want to be paraded around like some icon to rally behind because of how pitiful I was that I was dumb and trusted people that I shouldn't have that everyone has told me not to trust no one thinks that of you not a single person thinks that of you <sighs> Maybe give Peaches a reason to have her RP main character moment. We we mean give her a reason. What we the fuck could go about mean? it a different way. That could be an option. I don't know what even that means. Right? We need to be smart about give it. Give her reason to. What? Thinks that we are trying to murder She's got deputies, so much RP in this. What are you talking about? Narrative or propaganda? Anything that we say after that is going to be saying by the deputies as them versus us. I this really is all RP. Negative stuff is RP too, dude. To be the ones to exile themselves. There are already deputies who do not agree with this. We need to make them be the ones to push out the other deputies for us so we can kill them. And we need to do that by making sure that we're as sympathetic as possible and that we are on their side because Who's the second, the good deputies, I don't know, whatever, the people who are disagreeing with how this happened. Well, what about your side? My side will be shown when I stab Rabbit. I don't care about it until then. Here's, here's, here's the thing. Here's Why the thing. don't see it, 
fuck are you what are you they oh, need God, they so need cool. to see her as a victim if the law department sees her as a victim it's only a matter of time before those irresponsible are pushed out however if we are going to go down that route which i think is the right approach then we're going to make sure those that speak to law are the ones that law would believe they're never going to believe me or eddie they'll believe <laughs> irene maybe dakota i show up and start or crying for lawful justice they're gonna catch on to what we're doing very quickly but, but you know what those good deputies those good ones you're talking about they're gonna listen to cesare they're gonna no. listen to the rest of them because they got some opinions they that just they came know off of a true van. they mm. were already vilified and the rest of the department agreed with it there had to be a vote for that van they are not seen in a good light by the deputies and the second mm -hmm. that they start saying that we are trying to rally around the troop to spread propaganda to break up the what department. What propaganda are you talking about? That's the words that Cesare used. He said, let's spread propaganda. Well, well let we him, let him do it. Across, no, because if he does that, they are going to rally together. We want good. them to not know. We do not want them to rally together. We want them Why to not? fight against each other so that they will push each other out. That's if right. they are fighting against the public, they are going to become stronger together. What if? So what, do you, what are you saying right now, Peaches? That it was a bad idea to tell Cesare and them? It was going to get out there anyway. I agree, but when we approach people, we need to make sure that we are approaching it not out of any other goal of ours, but to warn people and to oh. show what happened. Okay, what so would you have changed? Not saying that we're going to kill, not s trying to make it seem like we're making this propaganda. And Cesar's honestly, not going to say that. I know, but... Well, he's going to tell the I, truth that's written on your face, for Christ's sakes. He knows what happened. It's I not propaganda. I didn't ask him not... to spread propaganda. I told him to tell people the truth of what happened. Exactly. What they do with that information is up to them. I'm not saying rally up against the law. I'm not saying protest against the law. I'm saying get the truth mm -hmm. out there. He has many more contacts than we do. I agree. I do agree. But how it seemed like how he took it was that we were trying to start a war against the deputies. And to be fair, we did come across that way. Um, we need to make sure... I don't know if you were in the room when it was spoken out, but Wallaby did mention not harming no, no deputies that were involved in I that I made it very clear that no one's to hurt any law, otherwise they will rally behind each other. And next but, thing you know, it's not going to be about what they did was wrong. It's going to be about they're being attacked from everybody. That's not the idea. The idea yes. is that people know how corrupt they are. The more publicity, the more people know, the more pressure it's going to be to fire those responsible. I, I definitely agree with that. But also, the deputies think that both you and Cesare are very manipulative people. And they do not have the best view of you. That's Having... why you've got to, you've got to talk to them. Yeah. And, and you've got to do it to... in a light that you do not agree with how I want to handle it. Right there. You um... tell them, Wallaby's talking crazy. He's talking about taking the law on, blah, blah, blah. I don't want that. I don't want that. Shit like that. I don't but agree really, with Really, man? Huh? They, they might, if I'm saying Not really. That. I mean, look, look, look at it this way. You don't got to do anything crazy. You just, you just got to do what you've been told. Or <laughs> what the hand you've been I dealt. Don't, I don't want to. You know? Told. You've been beaten up and you've been... These deputies have put you through all this. Let the people know that you've been through this. can't this, man. Yeah. People and will support you. People won't support you. People in the department basic. will support just you. Get the people truth in the department won't support you. But you got to let people know that this 
and justice was done to you. I, I, I agree. And while I didn't think it through and I didn't necessarily mean to bump into those deputies, the deputies I did bump into, and when I said it, they were really upset. Malone right. was defending himself and all of the deputies around them were turning the against him, including Hart. But you see, if I say it and I walk around showing my scars and what has been beaten, it's going to be a lot better than from a group of us coming individually to every single group and word coming out that we are trying to rally people against the deputies. <laughs> That's not the what we're doing. That, yes, but it is possible that they are going to think that. Now you think Cesar is going to tell every gang in the crossing what our plan is? It's possible. I mean, the syndicate, if anything, is... That, that's his way to do it. Well, you could have brought this well, up you, at the meeting. You could have said yeah, this. Yeah, I, I was trying not to... Not help. You're not said, doing I something about it. I, I said I wanted to talk about this before we talked with other people. And I, but you staying quiet about what happened yes, to you isn't going to help matter. I'm against a leader in front of the public. I'm not going to stand up and be like, I don't think this is right when we're already in the door. I don't even know where we're meeting when we're going to San Denis, to be honest. I'm kind of out of it, so I might have not been paying attention that we are going to meet the Dechenzos. But I'm not going to, when we're already in the door, stand up and be like, Wallaby fucking stop, this is a terrible idea. Not that I think it's a terrible idea, it's, it, it, but what I'm saying is that that was not the time to stand up. You had oh, just yelled Was at it a terrible before. idea or not? Come on. I don't you want to go about it a different way? I Tell the man! I, yes, that's what I'm saying right now. I'm trying to say that right now. But that's why I was upset that you had just said that. And then I'm you sick. did the same thing that you had yelled at me for. Okay. Yeah. I am very confused. Me too. I'm... I'm... Can't we just kill them all? I feel <laughs> like we're all saying the same message, but... It's we... getting mixed up somewhere along the way. Yeah, what, what I'm what I'm trying to say is that ha if we want to do this, it's not going to be an easy task, and we need to make sure that we do it in a very okay, okay, way. okay. Uh, how do we do that then? Let's come up with ideas on how we do that instead well, of okay. So I was maybe talking... maybe maybe if, if you know this uh, the new, the newest you know the new guy over here, he could just get one word in just quickly. I have been talking to two deputies specifically, Coyote and O'Grady. Right? And what the fuck are you talking to them <laughs> for? Because Everyone's you know, fucking talking to everybody. Who's talking? Was, Stop talking to them. There's no more talking. I was in a fucking cell. I mean, what, what do you expect me to do? Just stand there and say nothing? Yes. Yeah. What the hell were you doing in a cell? Were we in the cell yeah, in the well, first you know place? No, so you know what? what? You know, I'll, 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 no, I'll, I'll, I'll go. No, 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 don't do that. I'll go fucking fucking criminals, okay? Okay, regardless, what you were saying, the Coyote did reach out to me and wants to meet with me one on one. So does Hart. And I want to meet with of course, they all wanna. To say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I send no. me a telegram when, uh, when, when you uh, when you when you want to listen just one second. Okay? We're, we're we're listening to you, Rocco. I'm sorry. No, I mean I mean it's I mean it's. Yeah. Please, Rocco, go go. I mean, Wolby literally said we're not There's doing propaganda. We're God just damn getting it, Rocco, the truth that's out there. Enough. That's all he said. I heard I'm enough. Off, Eddie. <laughs> ah! There is a chance to plant the fucking seed it. of doubt. Okay. Right. Like I said, you know, I talked to Coyote today, and I, I made him remember, right, that even though he might be facing, you know, some, some competitive types from his superiors and whatever, okay? he is still a deputy, and he's got a badge. And as soon as he has that badge, he is entitled to arrest anybody. If anybody does anything criminal, he has the authority to fucking jail them, right? And I had a long talk with him, you know, that maybe now is the time for, you know, for the deputies to take a stand. <sighs> Because so what's happening? To arrest, we're trying to convince them to arrest Rabbit for this. Well, I mean, if they are arrested for it, I mean, that's probably the quickest way for them listen, to lose their badge. Listen, let me, let me just put something out there, all right? I understand where everyone's coming from. I also think we're overthinking things a little bit. Now, I, I, when it comes to spreading information, if we were lying. I would agree, we'd have to be very careful. But what we speak is truth. It was seen by other law. It was seen by guards. It is fact. Now, that in itself 
is going to cause them problems. They are going to be fighting. We do not have to manipulate them. We just need to be heard. You need the story to not die or get covered up. It needs to be known by people. We are in the yes. right here for the first time in our fucking lives. They fucked up. They went too far. They crossed a line. We don't need to use propaganda because this is truth. This is fact. Now, if they lie, try to weasel out of what they did, it makes them look even fucking worse. If they tell the truth, they're fucked. I just need to clarify that I have not said anything to them about what happened. I'm not talking they to have... you okay. directly. I'm talking about no, no, the whole no, no. situation. I, I, ju I just want to make this very clear. Like I said, you know, I talked to O'Grady and I talked to Coyote. I never told them anything about what happened. I just said, because, you know, I learned my lesson the last time, you know, Rabbit went fucking rogue in, in Guama, right? I told everybody. And, and this time, you know, I did the opposite. I said, hey, I can give you this information. But I'm not going to tell you what happened. You're going to have to figure it out yourself. Let's keep it simple, man. Let's go keep it simple. So there, there, that's two deputies, you know, going to investigate what happened. Oh, there's no doubt that's they're not, investigating uh, what happened. There's yeah. no doubt. So then that's not me, you know, saying anything, you know, to uh, to kind of, you know, spin our our story or anything. I'm letting them investigate it themselves. Yeah, I wasn't saying that. Out. Yeah, e e even if you did, Rocco, honestly, you know, even, even I spoke without thinking and all this, like... But, but but what I'm saying is I, I, I do disagree that we don't need to be smart about this because Black Rocco had said Rabbit I, I, like killed people in Guarma or something. Malone killed Patty and still has his badge. They have been doing corrupt things for a very long time and they have been covering it up. The line has not been drawn and it keeps getting pushed back. And it keeps getting pushed back because Law is a team. And you need to work together because there are so many villains out there that hold them together. We need to make sure that they are not going to be held together and have the chance That's to right. split while they can. And this and sorry. And in order to do that, we need to make sure that we are not seen as villains right now and the public does not create any villains. That's to right. To unify them. That's why we are not gonna ride out. They're expecting us to ride into town and shoot them up all right let's not do yeah. that in fact they need to see you and you need to tell them that you don't want blood or nothing like that that you're not gonna kill them that you want justice is what you need to be saying you want justice for what happened to you you are a victim i mean honestly the less they see mind, us the more they see her the better absolutely we could get a wagon. We could put her up there. She could go on like a political Jesus. statement <laughs> in each town. I mean, I'm thinking that's what you need to do. You need I to mean, get the word out there. You need to be bright. You need I, to be big. You need people to know. Isn't that exactly what we just said not to do? And, no, her. No, because no, me, her. Just her. I'm, I'm, I can play, you know. Talk I mean, I people. am innocent in this. I, I, I'm not trying to say I can play innocent. There has no, we don't want a movement. It's it's and especially right now, right when I still have injuries and all that is important because even if they don't believe my word because I'm a criminal, they can believe the the damage on my body or whatever. You know, there ain't no. Yeah, you need to start doing things while you're injured, while you're visibly hurt. Yeah. Maybe, maybe get a political manager or something. No, Come we don't. We don't. We don't need to. We don't need a. We don't need a, we don't need a fucking movement. Well, she goes out there stuttering like she's stuttering. People are saying, "Jesus, the law did real bad damage on her." She needs to go out there and be able to talk to the people and say, "Look at my we, damage." Look, you look, know what? Just, if look you what happened to me. You are the last person I'm ever gonna take advice to on how to present themselves to the public. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. L listen. Listen. If we oh, I'm sorry. rally, like if we rally a fucking got unbanned from Starbreak. No, I didn't do. Oh my God. I got hey, you sorry. Re sorry about that. Uh, listen. <laughs> you if... know what? What the fuck is yeah, on the chin scout while we're on it? I don't think this is about me, thank you. I think no, my chin is the you. most least be. important fucking thing that we should talk about right now. We don't want to cause a movement. It will galvanize them. 
They need to hear her. They need to see the damage that was caused. They need to hear her cries for justice, not for blood. We need these law dogs fired. Once that happens, then we strike. But if we're riding around in a gang, they're going to see us as a gang. They need to see her. You need to make it clear that you want justice. You need to tell them that I don't. They're not going to believe it if you say we all want justice. You need to do that yourself. The moment that we go around saying we want justice or put together any fucking speeches, they're going to know what we're trying to do. We need to look fractured ourselves. Okay, I have some ideas. Um, I mean, it, 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 all, it all sounds nice on the paper, right? But these are the fucking uh, the top of the department. And Fuck Hart, them! It, Hard is going to feel really guilty. He had a fucking heart attack after hearing what Malone did to me after seeing But, but what, I'm, what I'm saying, you know, it, it takes more than just one sheriff, you know, to feel guilty to have anything It's not going to be one sheriff. It's not. I'm going to... I'm starting with Hart and Coyote, and I will tell them that anyone who wants to speak to me... I mean, I'm going to fucking pull my hair out. one on one. <laughs> Two days or like the ten months, man. I will. And I'll make sure that it, no one gets hurt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to phrase it like I'm going to try to work with heart and stop the damage that has been caused because it is going to flurry you up into a frenzy of bloodlust and the rest of the people around who hear we're literally this talking are also going to come after you all and we're and still going to get back to the place where we were 20 minutes ago it's exactly, exactly what we were planning before for the <laughs> decisions of rabbit and his other sheriffs except for a couple details that make they it better created more to victims be like him i'm gonna i have ideas i'm gonna meet with the uh, heart and coyote all right um, do that but i don't want you going alone him. though but uh, well, that's the whole point why would i not go can't you have someone with you that sympathizes you with you as well that's no, looking out for you maybe you can't walk maybe you need help you know have a uh, ha carry her around or something She's crippled. I mean, <laughs> if, if if you're worried about things, someone can watch from a distance. But we got some I, crutches. I, I'm not going to use fucking crutches. I think I'm going to go to Guarma. What the fuck are you going to Guarma for? What? I think I got to go to Guarma and, and let y'all do this stuff. Oh, I can't fuck. be caught around here, right. man. Uh, what are you? Are, are we supposed to? That's, yeah. Think that about it. The this. Concern they, of they, mine as well. they, they come. No, that. listen. They come for me, what do I got to do? Just bite my tongue and go to prison? No. And I can't retaliate, God forbid, because that'll send out the wrong message. I need to get clear. He has a point. I'm going to say it. He and has a point. And let y'all do your That's thing, and let I, and I need to go. Because I'll shoot you, more of these dogs. What if you took me and Rocco Dakota here? And Jesus. Rocco. Well, I mean, anybody who's wanted right now got to go. Who else? Because we can't touch the law. Well, me, Rocco, and Rennie would need to get clear. Timmy Days, I think of a 10 months. Uh, Unless, uh, Rocco, did you... Yeah, I had a little shootout earlier today. You cut deals? Oh, yeah, the hour-long shootout with Coyote. Was that before or after you talked to him about this? Was, uh... I'm sorry. Was it... before. Okay. You got arrested by Coyote by himself. Yeah. Fuck, man. I ran out of... They had a I ran, fist I ran fight. Out of, I ran out of bullets. And an hour-long... <laughs> All right, this, this conversation, this is concluded. All right, well, Rocco, you're good. What's so, what, what's, so, what's so funny, Peaches? Wait a minute, you don't, you don't think I'm serious, man? Don't. No, I didn't say you weren't serious. I think you're right. If you want to do that, you can. Wait, can we figure out first? What? What? I just, I just want to say something. Loans, I think, the five dollars. They redacted. They pull out coyotes. their hairs we, instead we of get them, the no, wait, instead. No. And whilst you're reading like this, this keep the jug for Malone. The drunk getting killed through alcohol would be amazing. But now I don't know how. I heard you I liked alcohol. Well, have a drink on me, and then just start pouring it on his fucking head. That, that was kind of my point, you know. I mean, <laughs> heart and coyote. I mean, sure, so, you can talk so to those. What I'm gonna do and I'm not finished talking. I'm so sorry. Continue. Sorry. I don't mean to keep interrupting. I'm not. But like I say, you know, like you know, when when it's the top of the department who who is doing this, right? You, you you're not gonna have all the other deputies just you know band together. No one is untouchable. They... Malone lost his fucking badge. <sighs> he lost his rank sure. as okay. sheriff. For less than this. 
He was a sheriff. Maybe the most sure. prominent sheriff in the fucking crossing. And now he's a deputy. Now, I don't know what you want to fucking do. But please, instead of poking holes in what we want to do, tell us what you want to do. Well, I mean, I keep trying to tell people, you know, and kind of, you know, get, you know, more reach on this. But I, I you know, people keep fucking cutting me off. Well, well go out. Hey, everyone, no we're talking for the next three minutes. He's going to tell us what he wants to do. Like I said, Hart and Coyote, you know, might be a gateway to reach other deputies. But as it stands right now, there is no other deputy in the crossing that's going to band together, together against their fucking superiors. They're all fucking spineless. Nobody dares to do anything. So what if we, you know, think outside the box and we reach out to the fucking marshals instead? Have a real talk with the people with the power. Instead of the puppets, you know, who, who's fucking run amok. Wouldn't that be... Marshals. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Which one of us is you. gonna go? Go ahead. Okay, the marshals are the <coughs> ones who wrote that writ of execution for me. Right? I don't want to fucking speak to them. If I'm being honest. If they want to speak to me, they can come to me. But I do think that there are a lot of deputies who who uh, really. I think we're getting too complicated. If we can get all of them, <laughs> he's fucking going to Gorman now. And Hart and Coyote <clears throat> leading them, or anyone else who feels strongly about this, even Bolton, I'd like to speak to, because she was the one who was originally. Saying she was gonna keep Maloney. They can't sweep this under the rug, man. They can't. So that we could work together. They would have to be negligent at their job to sweep this under the rug. Enough people together. Because we're not lying. This is this out. happened. Uh, I do have a question. Do you think that if we were to reach out to any marshals, it would be to find out if they have any sour opinions on how that writ was in fact used, and if it was only to be used? as leverage for heart actually the, a lot of horses what if they were lying about that i i think it's always worth looking into because i don't know if they would even like their writs of execution being used as toys like that yeah, it was a glitch. no matter if it was a lie or not i mean the way fucking malone he conducted himself right i mean that screams personal what i I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring that up to Hart and see if he knows any marshals that he trusts. He is the most, I think, the most likely to work with us. Or me. I think that's a good idea, Rocco, and I'm sorry for interrupting you. Just remember that you want justice, not revenge, when you talk mm -hmm. to these folk. You didn't speak about revenge, did you, when you spoke to them? I gotta be honest, I have no fucking clue. I'm, um... I think I've had a pretty bad concussion. All I right. don't know exactly what I said, I just know that it was upsetting to them. Alright. If they ask about me, you tell them what? What do you mean I ask about you? How's Wallaby taking it? Um... I kind of have an idea of how I'm gonna play it. Uh... But I don't really want to say it. If that's okay. Yeah, just just be careful when they when they will try to overwhelm you, right? Just... They, they're gonna tell you, but I mean, why should we listen to you? Because you're in this group. You know, who's doing these violent things all the time, right? I mean, why should we perceive you as the victim? Yeah. No, just, uh, you just keep, keep your head calm. The truth is all yeah. there. It's, it's on my fucking face. Just, if... you know, hit, hit them with the good old, you know, I mean, sure, we might be fucking criminals, but we are brought to justice, and we own up to our mistakes, you know, by going to Sisica, <clears throat> and at least, you know, try to reform ourselves, right? Yeah. Justice is blind. No, you make sure you t don't tell them that I want justice. They wouldn't believe it. It just, you know, spin it, you know, the, uh... I mean, if I'm supposed to be held accountable for my actions... Rocco is wise, it's worth to listening to him. We have been One listening to him, man. Fuck! Right? A lot of us are on the same page, we're just wording it differently. Can you repeat that? 
Yeah, you know, you just gotta gotta you know lay it out, you know, the game plan, say to them. I mean, if I'm supposed to be held accountable for my crimes and spend time in Sisica, I mean, so should they, especially them, right? Because they're supposed to uphold the law and protect people. What they did in there, <clears throat> something you know, criminals wouldn't even do. I mean, they would, but uh, like I said, it's the Western. Uh, those are very Western. It's not the principle message. no more, guys. It's the precedent. <laughs> All right. We should probably get out of here before we're seen and they know that we're conspiring. Yeah. Can we talk about what everyone's plan is and where they're staying? Are y'all going to Guarma? No, I'm not Wait, going where's, to Guarma. Where's Eddie? He ran off like five minutes ago. God damn it. What is... This horse I is still around, so thing. he could just be loitering. Yeah, I did the same thing, so I can't... That is definitely not the same thing. It's definitely okay. not the same thing. You okay, went down wait. a treacherous mountain by yourself. He ran over That's... there to take a fucking piss. It's very different. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I don't want to hear the this way. every time someone walks away. Is that, oh, they're doing the same thing as me. I don't no, want to hear no, it. No, no, You've said just, like four times no, now. Everyone's done the same I, thing as you. No, I'm just, just to be very clear. Upset at Eddie walking away because I did the same thing. So uh -huh, I'm, uh -huh. I'm a hypocrite if I'm upset. I wasn't trying to say uh -huh. that that they were. I don't. I don't know. Look, I haven't. Anyway, there's, a, there's no shooting. <laughs> yeah. Shooting lawmen for the next No solution. shooting lawmen. Not yet. Not just a, a little bullet. Listen, if we do jobs and such, that's a different thing. But when it comes to targeting them. No, we target no them. No bully in the lawman. No bully in the yeah, lawman. No riding about saying we're gonna fuck you up, gonna kill you. None of that. Any of that if, happens. If any do... of that happens, they're gonna rally together. It's what they do. They will sweep this under the rug if we let them. I mean, but I mean, until this this thing is settled, right? I mean, if we do anything, it, it, it has all been for nothing. We gotta we gotta stay clean until this is done. So right now, I think that. I'm going to try to pull the narrative that I want Hart to help me with my mental state and to get me back to um, being yeah. able to be reining everyone else in. Yes, Hart right? is the I'm, one. Yeah, I'm seen as the person who kind of keeps people in line, right? Mm -hmm. If he works with me and we don't do things, it'll be like, oh, well... What we're doing is working, and we're actually helping our fellow deputies, That's right? right? So Hart if is we... mentally weak. Okay, no, he's not. Yes, he is. I watched him cry once. He's, he's the one that we target. He's the one mm. that you get sympathy from. Would a mentally weak person be able to stand? I'm, I'm just saying that. I'm just because he's, he's not. Yes, he first is. First of all. Cried like a baby. Yeah, well, so did I. It's different. Is it? You're not a sheriff. So I can't I can't even shoot them with a with a vomit rifle. No, you can't fucking shoot them with anything. We, I do want to <gasps> be clear. I do want to be clear though. And this is the last time I'm gonna say this. I do want to fucking kill them. Okay. But I'm all right. Oh yeah. I, well, that's what we. Yes. Yeah. All right. I I, I, I gotta get out. I fucking sick of this swamp air. Okay, I, I just need to get uh, come clean with something. Oh my god. Oh, there's no more. There's no more. There's not fucking more. Spit it out. This is the last thing, okay? This is the last thing, okay? Because, you know, I you know I didn't appreciate it on the uh, the matter of fact, you know, that a fucking hard, you know, he banned us from strawberry. So I told him to go fuck himself. Okay. Okay, well, all right. That's, that's just it, okay? No more bullying in the lawman. And I told him, Ali, he's a bitch. God damn, man. That was like 30 minutes of us agreeing, so but arguing long, about how it. How long is we expecting this to go? I swear roughly. to God, this was a 30 minute conversation of us agreeing on the same thing, but arguing it. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. We all had the same idea, just worded it very differently. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, if somebody wouldn't have cut me off, you know, we. Oh, you know, all, we all, all right. It was because you got <laughs> cut off, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm gonna cut you off every single fucking time. Also, I really want to do a bank job using a bait. Uh, we're not. Bait we're not doing a fucking <laughs> bank job. We don't think about that right now. We got more pressing I know it's things. Right Jesus now, Christ! Out there before it goes away from my mind. All right, please. Well, can you? 
Is Hot still around? I'm gonna telegram him and Coyote. Can, uh, I, I'll take my horse if you can ride with someone else. Uh, Dakota. And yeah, we gotta cut right her loose. She can't be seen riding with us at the moment. Where are you all gonna stay? Probably. Can I your horse? Sure. Go, go back to the snow, huh? No, not the snow. I'll be up there. No, we'll go to, uh... Oil factory for now. Oh, What's wrong with the? F okay, you know what? No, okay, fine. Butcher's Creek. There you go. Always say, always second guessing, Peaches. Oh, yeah. uh, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Peaches, Just you, start well, riding. You, well, They'll follow, now, surely. Yeah. Okay. Listen, listen. Listen, Do you still spend our money on chicken burgers? No, actually. <laughs> I know you've been around for a while. T Rose, think for 30 months, man. Oh, man. They actually didn't follow. It's coming now. Yeah. Same old things. We, you know, we all agree. We're all but agreeing, but we're arguing we as we're agreeing with each other. It's, yeah, we all agree, but we all sometimes want to go about it in different directions, and then there's too, too many cooks in the kitchen and this and that, but. We know what we're doing. She knows what she's doing. These people gotta pay. They, they go on top. They go on top. Right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. With justice. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm waiting for a clunk. You know that sound that you take the cork out of the, <laughs> the jug. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm just gonna be. Uh, I'm just gonna be thinking about things for a little bit, alright? But I'll keep riding while I think. Because I'm multitasking. <laughs> All right, it's about that time, guys. You know what time it is? It's time to tell you about our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, this stream is brought to you by Express VPN. Now, if you don't know what a VPN is, uh, it, ch it, it changes your region. Right, so if you're in America, you can make believe that you're from Australia. Or if you're from Australia, you can be from America. And you're probably wondering, what does that do for me? Well, it protects you, first of all. Second of all, if you're like me and you like using streaming platforms such as Netflix, you'll notice that sometimes you don't have access to the entire library. Some countries have shows and movies that your country doesn't. And you can't watch them because you suck and your country sucks. So, if you get ExpressVPN, you switch the country to the country of your choice, and you have access to all the library you want, which means you can watch anything at any time. It's great. And guess what? If you look at my page underneath the description in the nah, box you? behind the thing, there's a link, man. There's a link to ExpressVPN, all right? You click on that, use my link, and you get three months free. Three whole months. And not only that, but it supports the stream. That's right, because I don't run ads on this stream, as you notice when you come in here. It's clean the whole way through. All right, that's because of sponsors like this. So support the stream by supporting ExpressVPN VPN, and look after yourself and look after your streaming life. Look after your computer. And just, 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 just win at life, really. Links down below or exclamation point ExpressVPN in the chat. Get the link and uh, yeah. Thank you very much for supporting the stream. I love you guys. guys and you. thank you, ExpressVPN, for the, uh, well, the sponsorship. Once Peaches has done her campaign. Oh, that was a fucking mess. And you need somebody, that was good, you right? Know. Yeah, we got the point across. And then I'll be there. My country sucks. I need VPN. Got it. Good, good man. Good man. If you do end up getting it, let me know. What a great ad. I, 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 oh yeah, I got to write a script, man. I really do. I couldn't, re I couldn't remember where my link was. <laughs> I mean, what happened, you know, what happens wow, over what a great ad. Anymore? Shut up, man. <laughs> it was good. It was good, okay? Ads. Sometimes the bad ads are the best ones, you know? Uh, sometimes sometimes people, people might purchase it now out of, like, sympathy. A sympathy purchase, you know? Go on the roads. Yeah. Maybe I have to telegram yeah, Rocco. He might have thought we went to the Butcher's Creek. Well, they could have followed. 
are listening to yeah, well, they were too busy TV bickering. Music. Below the thing, behind the thing. Click there. <laughs> I didn't say that, man. That's not that's not an exact quote, okay? The the ad was almost as good as your manscaped one. Okay, don't bring that up because Manscaped canceled that sponsorship right after that ad, man. It's a sore spot. Don't bring that up. <laughs> I'm still waiting for them to message me and be like, dude, don't 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 compare us to a condom, please. I'm waiting for it, man. I'm waiting for that DM. Wallaby is just not in, he's, he's in a foul mood, okay? The whole situation is, uh, it's very hairy, man. Uh. Hey. Yo. Alvin's around. Oh, you lovely. Him to go somewhere? Where do you want him to go? Oh. Valentine, I guess. I'm assuming he's up in the snow, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Valentine. Valentine. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. What a shit show. Uh, I'm gonna go to the stable. Alright. Joe Wallaby. Oh, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. What is uh, your telegram? Nutsack591. Nutsack951. 591. 591. Correct. All right. I expect to hear from me. I look forward to it. VPN because your country sucks. <laughs> This is, you just gotta keep it simple. All that political stuff she was talking about with the gangs. I don't think it's that bad of an idea for, you know, the rest of the community to know what happened to the poor girl. What do you think? Oh, I, we, I thought we approached it in the right manner. Right. Me too. We I mean, just want the truth out there. We're not spreading yeah. lies, right? Right. It's true. I mean... It's on her face. It's truth. And everybody, including, you know, whoever, needs to know. That's right. And then people will decide what side they'll take. What the fuck? That was interesting. I thought that was speedy. It might be speedy. I thought that was speedy then. That was? I thought it might have been, I'm not sure. Who else? Where's uh, Dakota's going to the stable? That's right. Ah, uh, boy. Got four now. Just to keep in mind in case Law show up. How do you get your rifle on your horse like that? Mine never shows up on the horse, that dude. right there. Fucking bullshit. Sunflower. Who's fucking... Whose gun is this? Whose is this? Sunflower? Let me, let me ask you something. You fellas don't see yourself getting into any pickles that will require me in the near future. Why? What are you planning on doing? Going to Guam, huh? Well, that's what I mean. Just laying low. Just for, you know, everybody else's sake. When do you want to do that? 
As soon as possible, I guess. The better you, you know, the better she's not seen amongst me, or I'm not mm -hmm. seen causing any trouble in the crossing, the better. You All right, know? how much money is this? Could go on for weeks, months well, even. How much money do you need do to get over so? that? Two fifty. Something like that. What is it? Two fifty to get over there. there fifty to get back. Would sell the gold in this box. Get some money, give it to you to go. If that's what you want. It's not what I want. You know, my position, my position is we stick together in on this. Yeah, and so far we've already, you know, Peaches is but doing her thing. Now Eddie's going to be doing his thing. We're doing oh. the exact opposite of sticking together. Peaches has to be by herself for this. Right. Let's head to Valentine. I'm willing to risk it, but I do apologize for backlash. What could you possibly be wanted for? Uh, everyone's splitting up. Oh, we're saying we're sticking together. The heart situation. What else? An absolute massacre of a shootout, slaughterhouse. <laughs> All right. We took down eight of them. Like eight of them. Took them all down, the middle. Are you sure it was eight? I thought you said 12. Could have been. <laughs> I, I was lost 10. count. All right, all right. So you, 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 you shot down 10 law dogs. All right. Well, maybe it's not too bad. Maybe you'll do a little stint in prison. I don't fucking know. Is that, is that what you would prefer? <laughs> I'd turn myself in. No, now I wouldn't. Sort of I don't trust deal. them at all. They'll probably well, execute you when you're there. Maybe that's what I'd do. Well, maybe, you know, you know what? This is good for us, maybe. Maybe we can. You know, rally up and be like, no, you don't take him. Last time you took us, you executed all that bullshit. We don't trust you. And then they would say too bad and then shoot him. Just be like, what are you going to do? Murder me like you did, Jack? Something like that. Real dramatic like. And then we leave. And the thing is, if they, you know, we can distract while you get away. Because we're not wanted. What am I, a symbol? Go now, down now, we cross. haven't gone that far, all right? Kind of sounds like it. We're not that old. To prove a point, I'm just, you know, you ain't digging me. Nah, 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 nah. And just, what? All right, don't, don't do it like and that. And they shoot me in the ass and I die a symbol? Well, it's better than saying rotten hell demon. I was a kid. <laughs> you still holding that over my head? I will still, I will hold that over your head till the day you die. Well, I meant to, too. They got the devil in them. Oh. You should have I mean, seen him now, when he was Mr. High Socks them, right? over here. We threw lemons at a fellow that we thought was a vampire, and he said, run in hell, demon. They demons, Jesus. all right. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. I think if you would like to go to Gorma, then you should. If you want to go to Guam, I'm not going to stop you. Well, maybe I'll turn myself in and become a political prisoner. I start my painting and I sell my art oh, from the inside. No. <laughs> yeah. I paint naked women you. in artistic French boutique style. And my vision is... I become a tortured artist. I go to Sisser. I become a, a, a political prisoner. And I start spouting about how the sheriffs kill people and they do this and that. How about that, huh? Oh, you almost said potato picker, which is more accurate to actually what you would be. And second of all, I don't trust the law incarcerating you. Who says they won't beat you down, kill you too. I'm a political fugitive. Who's that behind us, Rocco? Oh, there's... is that Alvin? There he is. Oh, lovely. My fear is, is that we ride, we come to a roadblock, something happens and, you know, oh, they're not playing fair, you know, how could they say this about Peaches when they're out there still running and gunning?
Well, the whole point was that she's going to tell them that we're not looking for a peaceful resolution. That she is. Which is why she's not riding with us at this very moment. Nobody? Huh? I said hi. Oh, hello. Sorry, Alvin. You have a lot of catching up to do. Okay, would you still prison pencil? To remember. Oh. The gang's everything at all? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I I have faith, man. I have faith. I know. I know. This is the right way to go about it. Let the law have some inner turmoil, and uh, if if they end up sweeping it under the rug, that's when we go full on fucking you know hellfire. But that's not the idea. I don't want to do that because that's a suicide mission. If we do, if if that's how it ends, that's going to be the the last arc, man. We can't. I can't justify going against the entire department and making it out alive. So you better hope it works, guys. Because the only way that we can realistically fight and make it out. I feel like Wallaby has to step up for Peaches. Wallaby and Peaches need to have a serious heart-to-heart. -heart. Sure, we have to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. But, uh, stepping up? I mean, this whole fucking thing, like... We asked everyone stepping up for Peaches. Telegram! You can break out a Cisco ride, but you have to perma. I don't know. I don't know how that works, to be honest with you, man. Yeah. I don't even know if it's an actual thing yet. But essentially, yeah, if you break out a Cisco, they expect you to. Like, that's the last arc. Howdy, Wallaby. Hey, how you doing? Doing all right. How are you? Booby battle. Meeting is being called in order to resolve a current conflict between the Dicenzos and Taipan. Depending on how long this... Resolution takes. Other matters may be wrong. Right the meeting of the powers will take place on Friday the 5th. Okay. At 7.30 p.m. Oh, God, that might be awkward for me. The location will be sent to you on the day of the meeting. Make sure you bring plus one. Only for the sake of the crowd control. Security will be provided for the event if you are wanted. Uh, let us know so we can accommodate, pick up a transport if needed. I uh, hope to see you there. Okay. Well, sorry to hear that. Hope your uh, day gets better for you. Thank you. 7.30 p.m. I'm just trying to think what that time is that for me. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Does anyone know? Can anyone do the mathematics? It's like what? Two hours ago? Okay, it's gonna have to be an early stream. I can do it, but I'm gonna have to leave like after the meeting. Wallaby kid. Okay. I will be there. Yeah. Almost when you started today? Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Come through town. Me and Martina went hunting today, but that's about it. Did you um start doing something else? Uh, yeah, I'm living in Blackwater now. Oh. But... Who is well, this? Well, good for you. Thanks. Are you bringing right, you guys. You all take care. You as well. Take it easy. Hey, Cal. See ya. See? Your, your jacket really is good. Just run to the bathhouse. Yeah, I knew that. Can't remember the name. Okay. 
So where am I gonna get the ketchup stuff? Well, once we get to where we're going. All right. We got some blow on the porch. I'm just gonna whistle. Just right on by. Right. Just gonna get some ammo. Alright. Is that Beckwith on the porch? Ammo. Oh, it's SSD. Fuck. Fuck, whatever. Oh, it's Brooks. Great. Where did he go? Did he get Telegram? is wanted yeah they're probably checking that right now to run all the way back and it was very cold in, in the snow okay don't a cry bunch in... okay wait all right let's try telegram get the fuck out of this shithole Now, Alvin. Yes. Get your ass up here. Don't you look at them. Don't you say hello to them. You don't talk a word to them. You hear me? They don't deserve it no more. Well, They're the enemy. Like, it was the tempt them. No, no, no. You don't. Oh, yeah, I never. Don't you we give don't... no pleasantries? What if any of them are streaming? I want to go there and shoot them so bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, I'm 
Alright, this should be so bad. It's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna be so fucking hard. Ugh. Oh. she says just you and me i think that means you guys can't be here <laughs> the old dogs they're all in the end for the same thing and they'll protect the same pack it is true they will protect each other no matter how good they are Rocco to come to Valentine, but uh, we can wait here a little while. That's fine. That was in Rhodes, so yeah, let's just wait here another couple minutes. Then all right, I'll double check telegrams real quick. Yeah, all right. They being lazy. They're watching us. This music's making me want to kill, man. This is gonna be the most epic drink of water ever. No, it's not casings. Got another telegram. I think it just means not having the gang around. Business. I'm due out within the hour. Let me know if you require my services and I will be in touch regarding the meeting tonight. We do have bonds. We do have bonds. Just Craig. Yep. I want to lead the way. I'll let Rocco know again. Quick. Good horsey. I noticed there wasn't four law on the porch anymore, which probably means one of them's watching us somewhere. All right, good help.
It was Coyote, he'd be telling you for sure. I wish, man. I wish I ran into Peppo. Wish I knew where he was. I'll go to him right now. Can we stop at Emerald real quick, Eddie? Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds like I'm the Peaches teller to meet up the, at Butcher's Creek. Wasn't it Butcher's Creek where you kicked Peaches out of DEK? Uh, no, she didn't get kicked out of DEK, she got rejected for DEK. To Billy. Wow. Right behind us. The guy that paced us. Was he not here? I don't think so. Hello there. Just a local. Billy, that's a local. What? He looks just like Billy. Got the same hat, that's it. I was gonna say, isn't he fucking dead? I've been to him. A uh, local took him off his horse. Oh, shit. Sure. He's fine. He perma? I got no idea, man. Haven't heard or seen anything to do with Billy since the hammering, man. No idea. No matter, please, in my chat about that. I got no idea. I don't want to know. Do you want? I, got I can't remember, man. This law. What do you hear? What do you say? Not bad. How about yourselves? Oh. Been enjoying yourself, hopefully. Yeah, yeah doing all right. Doing the best I can. You know, that's all we can do. Scout. Howdy. That was Dakota with you. Doing what? all right. Dakota. What yeah. about him? Oh, I just saw her in, in prison not too long ago, so just thought I could say hi if she's around. Matt's currently laying low out west. So. Oh, go ahead. Oh, is she here? She is. She's that way. Alcatraz coming with a hundred, 
hundred dollar dono. Keep it up, the bro. I will. I will try. You must really like my stuff. Thank you so much, man. It's a lot of fucking money. Holy cow! Thank oh, you. Ready? I think they're talking to Dakota. Yeah. Having a little chit chat. Who's the lady? Who was that? Uh, who's the lady? Uh, Abigail, Zip's mom, and uh, Eli. Yeah. I think she lives at this telegram station. Who's Abigail? She's here every fucking time. Horses. Any clue who that is? Uh, no idea. Nope. Thank you so much, Alcatraz. You're a legend, man. All right, Eddie. All right. <sighs> Customer service is the worst in the world. Telstra? Yeah, I'm with Telstra, unfortunately. The internet speed's pretty good. And I was having a lot of problems with my last provider. I was crashing all the fucking time. I don't, go, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was losing internet all the damn time, man. I haven't had many problems with Telstra though. Um, which is funny. It's, it's been a lot more stable. The dark days. No, the Bobby, dark- I still have this uh, box that has some golden guns in it, by the way. Yeah, Hathaway is going to get out of Sisigo today. Maybe we can offload them to him. Alright. Uh, the, the dark days Sounds were familiar. the rust days, man, when I was streaming at fucking low pixel. Low res, man. That was crazy how slow my internet was. I was still on fucking dial up pretty much. Those were the dark days. I remember, I remember the first time I streamed in HD. It was like the most amazing experience. <laughs> Everyone was freaking out. It's like, holy shit. HD streams? What the, what the fuck? I remember uploading Rust videos that went for like six, seven, eight minutes. And it would take me like five, six hours to upload. Fucking nightmare, dude. Seems like such a long time ago now, though. Times change very quickly. HD. Why are you making fun of the way I speak? Don't make fun of my accent. <laughs> You're making fun of Moon? Oh, what did he do? Oh, LH415. I have no idea. What you're <laughs> is that? I, don't, I got no idea. Does, is, does he say it weird? Yes. Surely. That's his new thing now, man. Surely. 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 Let's not piss off the locals, hell. We don't need a firefight now. You want to set up camp somewhere or just... Well, we're going to wait for Irene and Rocco first before we decide if we're doing that. This won't piss anyone off, right? Surely not. I think they're all asleep anyway. Can't believe it's been a year. I've enjoyed every min. Every, every, every min? Hell yeah, dude. You know, the, the principal of the school lived here. Don't say the word principal around me. 
You remember her, man. She was your principal. I remember her a long time ago when she lived out here. Betty Butcher. Before it was Betty Moretti. What happened to her? Did she die? She got murdered, I think. Who murdered her? Some fella. Yeah, Armadale was was all messed up about it. I remember I seen <laughs> I seen him blubbering and snot running out of his nose. And he it was ever, really distraught about it. They never killed a fella that did it. You know, you well, you know the Moretti, you know. He I think mean, that guy might have got banned or something, man. Because he's vanished as soon as that happened. I don't know. Oh shit. Come on, mate. That was just a little exercise I was doing. Mm -hmm. Headbutt the tree exercise. Oh, All right. Are we gonna do a competition? Well, no, well, we should tell you exactly what's going to happen though, what's happening right now. The situation. Does anyone want to update him? Uh, let's see, volunteer. Scout, give me a super quick summary. Yeah, Scout, perfect. So, basically, Peaches is trying to get them fired. But if they come up to me, I tell them they hate their guts and they're a bunch of numb nuts and they, you know, I, I don't like them. And then once they're fired, then we can kill them. Alvin, your head looks like a kidney bean. I mean, in the grand scheme what? of things, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Alvin. That's all I need to know. That's all you need to know, I think. Plans in effect. The law gotta pay. They did bad. They done done. I'm done, sorry. Did you say his head looks like a kidney bean? Yeah. Yeah, it's I agree with that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Kidney bean, the most, mm. the most um, hot you know, kidney bean there ever was. He's taken and he's running with all, it. All the kidney beans in the whole world. Alvin, you should like, stop while you're ahead. Look at that kidney bean. Don't say the word head in front of what, him. What do I do now? Ball. He thinks he's a hot kidney bean. I don't know. I was, I was trying to come on to him or nothing. I was, I was just just Why'd you bring like it up? A... I... Were you he... trying to disparage him? No, I would never. Was there some disparaging there? Is that what I'm hinting at? No, about? I was I was simply making a statement as I don't normally see Alvin bald for this long. Put your bandana over your face. That's you, Alvin. No, I'm talking to her. No. Oh. Okay, quiet. <laughs> Okay, fine. <laughs> that was a good one. No. Anyone have any suggestions how we make some money in the meantime? Robbing banks. It. Well, I mean, if we hate the law and we hate their goods, yeah, wouldn't robbing banks still be acceptable? Well, we don't want to you have, uh, you bring them on to us. Okay. <laughs> Mine? <laughs> Ow. Because then we'd have to shoot at them and they could die. And then we'd be deemed as an enemy and maybe... No, we can't directly hurt them yet. Now, if we do banks, the, you know, how they be. And in violence and such for the most part. I mean, other ideas? Well, maybe we could... Um... Like sell something, sell like, um, a picture book. No, no, wow. no, no. You, okay, real oh, big. you want us to sell right. real, real sorry, big? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm staying quiet. Trained, you're trying to think of stuff that basically... Oh, I'm, try, I'm, I'm not trying to sell them coloring books. All right, listen here. But what if in, on every page five, there's a coupon for, um... Ten dollars off a gold bar. No, I can't. Oh, I can't oh, listen no. to this. Listen, just because we can't do violent crime doesn't mean we can't outsource now, right? Right? Yes, but that's less fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this affecting your enjoyment? Um, no, I'm, I'm just. We're looking at the bigger picture here, kidney bean. Um, we it, must look at this from all angles. Hot kidney bean. 
Now, we do what we did when we ran the saloon. We, we do things, we run things, but we don't do it in the eyes of the law. Now, just because we don't want to get no trouble with law doesn't mean we have to behave ourselves now. We just have to be more careful. Miss Cup. And talk like this. You think we can do it? You think we can still do what we do, but not do what we do? Listen, when you were in Africa, yeah. you should have seen the money that we were pumping in that saloon from all our illegal activities. Got something to behold. And they had no idea it was you doing the do? No, they did not. We made $30,000 in our first month. Not a single arrest. I don't see any pro I mean, I'm wanted anyway, so I'll do the do. And hopefully they don't find out I did the do. <laughs> so I'd rob a bank. Not today, but you know. I understand. If we can mean. pull it off and do the do without affecting, you know, peaches. Or we could all be Eddie and rob the bank together. If I get caught do the by do. doing what we do, and I'm a political prisoner. How many prisoner. fucking times have no, you I'll said do in the last 30 seconds? If I get... <laughs> I think he's... Sorry, go ahead. We gotta do. Political fucking prisoner. But you know what? You wouldn't even be a political prisoner. <laughs> just because you say that you're a political prisoner doesn't mean you're a political prisoner. You'd be just a prisoner. <laughs> uh... Wakey, wakey. First step of becoming a political prisoner is saying that you're a political prisoner. <laughs> but you kidnap someone. That is not political at all. You robbed a well, bank. You shut up law. That is not political. After they did what they did. Yeah, but if you I know. start a political movement and the political reasoning why I'm behind bars because of my political actions, then yeah, it's all political. You know, he's been saying this since he was a kid when he was wearing tights. He was talking about political shit that well, fucking he's, he's, he's got a point it's the whole if, I go down, if I go down talking like a sophisticate then that's where things are challenged and people <laughs> are communicative Smokey has this thing, thing that every few months he'll go through he's I want to be mayor phase that we do uh -huh. which is a bank right and I'm fucked thank you very much uh huh but I didn't want to think that way because of Alvin's, you know, enjoyment. Why don't we just run a saloon again? Why don't you go yourself, right? In Van you Horn. You saloons. We could Van run Horn's that entire town, we could. Just like what's his face? Gavin Summers back in the day. Ugh, please. We could run that whole shebang. Lock it okay. down. Maybe that's I what think... we do. Maybe we say, you know what? The law's after us. We don't trust the law, so now we have our own fucking town. And law aren't welcome. Just like back in the now, old days. That's an idea. Like back in the old okay. days. A safe haven from oh. the law. We could charge rent. Oh, no. Don't charge fucking rent. Bigger we... picture, Alvin. Bigger, Bigger picture. picture. No. We don't not, trust not... the law. So now this is where we stay. And if if there are criminals out there that want a safe place, a town where law aren't going to beat them in the streets, then they come to Van Horn. That's right. And they can stay for a low, low price of $50 a night. We open up the Gavin uh -huh. Summers Saloon. That's what we do. That's Sure, and, and <laughs> guess what? We even got a foot lady who's willing to sell her feet for some reason. That's up. We sell. Wait, we get her in there. We get more of these girls. We get all these girls. There's yeah, we got the girls in there again. Absolutely, we do that. We got a foot lady, right, Dakota? We got another <laughs> lady. Betty Bunyans. With a, with Betty Bunyans. We got we got the booby ladies. We get we put them Sorry. all in there, and we mix them all up, and we see what the okay. Now you're talking. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so we make a statement. That we're making a safe haven because of the uh, the law situation, maybe. Law aren't welcome because they're not to be trusted. They're killers, murderers, unlike us civilized folk. 
we had to craft our own government because our government failed oh, here, us. Here we go. Here we go. This, this is... Why is everything going to turn into right? you being a politician at the end of the day? That's every the plan, deal. every plan no, is to you being a politician. That's, but that's what you got to say. You got to politicize. You got the people will be saying, you know, these poor people, their government failed them. The police department failed them. And look what they did. They took up their britches and they made Should their own. Should we do this? Should we take over Van Horn? You know, that's the image. That's <laughs> hey, the Zella. Papers. Think of the 12 months. One I year. Appreciate that. Thank I you so much. Talk. You know this. You just don't like me saying it for some reason. Right. You tell me this. You set up what you're setting up, right? Tell me, give it a week, people are calling you Mayor Wallaby. And tell me that won't sit right with you. I don't want to be the mayor. Oh, Wallaby set up this uh, this great place. It was your idea. He set up this great place, this great town. Eddie's the sheriff. Oh, I'll my God, king, it's so great. King, you know, king. they'll start calling you mayor. And then you'll start talking about political career. Oh, Jesus. I could also grow back my face here eventually. Might take a little bit, but not sure why that was brought up in this meeting. But right. my face here, because they look all professional. What about you? What do you think? I think that it's a great idea. See, that's passion right there. I and think that we've done it before and we know how it works. We've never run a town before, but yes. We run a saloon. Barely a town. We have run a saloon. Yes, we have done that. Right, we're just upgrading a little bit. Yep. The town is different. There's this political angle I'm talking oh, about that you all need to adapt. Listen, we <laughs> need... all need to adapt. That's... That's Are you going to run a town? Hustling in bustling in trussling in dusseling. I think so much <laughs> uslings were happening in that saloon. We, we make a town, people are going to come flock here, come prosper. We're going to create great minds. They're going to invent stuff that is unseen. And then they'll bring it back to the crossing to all the other lame towns with what the, the law. What the fuck, And then they'll be like, oh, we got to go to dead end town. No, no, so let's, call, let's keep it Van Horn. Yeah, I don't think that we should rename the place. Oh, let's, let, you know what, let's go to Van Horn. I'm not sending you a telegram. The, the saloon, all I'm saying is the saloon needs a manager, right? <laughs> For manager duty. A town's gonna need the same. Come on, let's go check it out. Let's go check out the real estate. See what this looks like. I want to be the mayor. Let's go have a look. might be cool guys this might be the way man following summer's footsteps gives us something to do while we wait out and see what the law do you know what i mean
Let's see how this looks. Let's see how it feels. Where's your first step? How's it feel to you? Musty. I, mean, I wouldn't be mean to the leaves. It'll take some work. Me money would need to immediately start pumping through the place for it to be acceptable to people. Means you're gonna have to sell it. I don't inside, I'll be right there. What do you think? We got the yeah. name of the saloon now. What? Go on, Eddie. The, the Dirty Ham. Dirty Ham Saloon. No. What's wrong with it? It's gonna be called the Summer Saloon. Ugh. No. That That's what serious? it's called. That's what it has to be called. It will be oh, if I'm running it. Bar. That man already... ran this fucking place. He was like us. He came before us. We pay respects. This was his fucking town. It's the summer saloon. Yeah. What do we do about Durham? There's a fella running it named Durham. We clean this place up a little bit. I'll let everyone know. Van Horn's back open for business. I'm gonna send a telegram. I'll be back.
There's a telegram office behind you? No. Close one is over here in Annisburg. Couple people I'd like to talk to about it. Speedy, Moxie. Two people that used to run around Van Horn. How you doing? Pardon me. Why speedy? Because he's run Van Horn before. Advice would be good. Keep it simple. Let him let him think about what that fucking means. <laughs> I want to trust Speedy. <clears throat> now we're not on good terms. Peaches and Rocco, yeah, 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 good idea. Hello. the Red Water Company as well. Mills and James, they're, they're from out west. Doesn't really affect them all too much. Call it Summer's Retreat. What, the saloon? Summer's end. I don't want to rename Van Horn. 
Smokey, thank you, dude, for the raid. Are you done for the night? Is he done for the night? in eternity. Saturn's Lagoon Galoon? God, shut up, man. Leave him alone. Oh, our brain is still being prepared, but here's a oh, beer in the stew for you, and there'll be one dollar. The fuck is this? I have customer? to. How you doing, Welcome fella? To the Dirty Ham Saloon. No. Oh. oh. Right. What? You son of a bitch. Oh, oh God. Ow. My apologies. Shit. It's already begun. That's a threat. Fucking hat off. Hold on. Fuck. I'm gonna van hold. Oh, we're good. Yeah, right, local. He was reaching. Throw him out back. bodies get rid of that piece of shit this one here as well toss them out back you really didn't fucking like you one of them started just Sounds like this one getting angry again. Well, you don't know. This blackjack dealer is just sitting there smiling. <laughs> um, I'm absolutely miserable on the inside. Oh. So sorry, got you quick. You must be doing nothing. Oh shit! Awesome. Yeah. Not that saying when you're lonely or anything. Go to uh, No, I am. It's fine. Oh. Okay. Well. Most times too, so. Hey, how about you, how about, how, you know, they got treatment for that. The doctors. They have a stick, you see. I'll be out here. Jesus Christ. Oh, so sorry. What? what? Lou, Lou. Hey, um, you'll come walk, walk hey, for, a okay. minute, for a minute. Yeah, sure thing. Sonny, come here. What you need? Fuck, God damn it. All right. Say walk, I'm walking. If you tell me to walk, I'm, I'm gonna walk. Oh, okay, at least, yeah, I'll at least, stroll like, too. That's fine. Sandini, Sandini pedestrian, seventy pace type of shit. You know what I mean? Look, I thought this was you over here to the right. Remember the last time we were here, Van Horn? Someone's, someone's, you know, what do you call it? The funeral. Funeral. I thought this was you right here. This guy right here it looks just like you. That looks nothing like me. I mean, in like, I guess, like. 30 years, but you know, it's stressed us to you, you know what I mean? my bald head just an hour ago. Uh, <clears throat> what's going on, anyway, kid? Anyway, I wanted to get some advice from you. You knew Gavin well. You knew him for longer than I did. You were around him when he was here, yes? That's right. What was it like, Van Horn, back then? Oh, 
Well, dangerous. It was um, it was like entering thieves' landing when the West was in its prime. A lot of gangs from different, uh, a lot of gangs from uh, different parts, all conglomerated into one single street. Van Horn's Main Street. No law, right? No law. Nope. But you come in here, and on top of the fact that you got to respect the, you know, the local, local uh, population. Just happened? like thieves. You got to respect that saloon. Old light, they call it. It's written on the facade there. What if? What if Van Horn opened back up for business? Some place to get away from the law dogs that are hunting us down. Huh. Restore it to its formal, uh, former days. Sounds like a great fucking time. Van Horn used to have the best parties in town. Debatable. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sonny don't get out too much. Nearest, closest place he gets out to is the general store in Saint Denis. Tell me about Gavin and how he ran this place. What was it like? Oh, from what I recall. I believe there were three, maybe four organizations or gangs operating out of here. Gavin Summers, the governor. Everybody reported to him. Everything went through him. People uh, respected him. He was the guy you went to to talk to about business, about seeking uh, a room, about seeking a refuge or whatever. He was number one. Everybody respected him. Everybody backed him up. He had all the information, all the numbers, all the money. This place was Gavin Summers. Is it true the law feared this place? Oh, absolutely. There was a point in time when Gavin... Kevin was un was untouchable. Not only did he deal in fear, but he also dealt in blood. The guy had some of the best shooters in town. Nobody got to him. I right, see. I'm considering it. The law has waged war on me, you say. Not me on them. First, it'll be me. Then when I'm swinging from a rope, it'll be you. One by one. We can't let that happen. I'm gonna stay here for a few days. Make up my mind. But maybe we need somewhere to go. When they're out hunting. Yeah. 
You can always stop by the manor if things get too hot, kid. Not all. Backyard's a good place. I cannot openly attack them. At least not yet. If I do nothing, they will suspect. Yeah, I can grow stronger. Maybe they never. We can grow stronger. We can run everything. From Saint Denis to Annisburg. Sounds like a like a plan, kid. It's a big picture. Yeah. I'm sure he'd be proud of that. He was a good man. We know who killed him. Uh, I think it was Cash. I might be wrong on that, but I th I'm about eighty percent on that one. May have been Cash. Mm. The Freemans might know a little bit more, but I haven't seen them in a, in a long time. They were with him. I saw Peter Peter Gray the other day too. Peter Gray. Oh, I think I might have met him once, long time ago. Who from those days are still alive besides Speedy? Bombin. The bombin is still alive, but he's in yeah. Sissica indefinitely. Uh, Julius, Julius Bradshaw. Bradshaw. He's on Guama right now. Bradshaw. Also indefinitely. Apparently horse. he's up and running consistently. He's got business over there with uh, with Co. Just ran an event over Moxie the weekend. Moxie too, right? Moxie, mm. that's right. I haven't yeah. seen her in a long time, but yeah. Do you have her telegram? There's a lot of horses. I think I do, yeah. A lot of fucking horses up there. Yeah, I heard that. Jack would be one to talk to, but Jack ain't around, man. The list is short. Hmm. Gavin Summers at one point turned on... turned on his own. I'm sure there's some people on that list that he crossed out. What do you think, Sonny? What about the whole Van Horn idea? Hmm. It's ambitious. Yeah, Summers made one mistake and he was... He was being a little bit too arrogant with it. Yeah, he essentially openly declared rebellion. That's bad news. The law, they are afraid to come in here, but they will. They will if necessary and they'll come in with hard, hard numbers. Big force. Just don't get arrogant about it. Does Not until you're ready for that. Does the numbers rule count in Van Horn, I wonder? Because there's no sheriff's office. I appreciate the advice. I don't want to be king. I want to work together. 
We control the coast. You and I. We control trade and such. The road from Saint Denis to Annisburg's a long one. I want to keep my friends. I think it's a great place, kid. I think people would enjoy Van Horn. As long as it's up and running. There's businesses running here and everything. I can't be I will tell you this. to town anymore. Yeah. I got a telegram from Abigail Notaro. You know who that is? Can't say I do. Zip Quill's mother. Ah, She was yes. formerly known as Abigail Quill. She changed her last name because she disowned the family. She is running with the crew. People like um, Hathaway and some other guys. She got about four or five others with her. She sent me a telegram saying that she's looking to set up in Van Horn, have businesses run there. Really? I got this telegram just today. Yeah. That's ironic. Yeah, maybe they could run the businesses around here, but uh, under your command, you know? You got people that are interested. That's the most important thing. Not everybody's interested in Van Horn. But. They will be. They will be. Yeah. Diamond in the rough. That's away from everything. That's right. Do you have her telegram? I do, yeah. You want to write down Moxie's first? Sure. Guys, get ready. Zucchini juice 152. Wait. Sorry, sir. There I go. Zucchini juice one five two. Well, what that's what Moxie, the... yes. Yeah, that's Moxie. Z J one five two. That's right. Zucchini juice one five two. And the mother. The mother. Yeah. <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't call it a mother anymore. She disowned the family, so she's kind of you know they shot her and shit, so she don't want nothing to do with it. Uh, it's, um, euphemism, um, Sonny, what's the word for N? Uh, what's a word for N? Just say N. Euphemism, um, nightshade. Nitwit. That's right. <laughs> 744. 744. Lovely. All right. right. Listen, um, we're compiling compiling a, a pretty big list. Telegram should be sent tomorrow regarding this whole um, situation. I estimate we're going to be having roughly, I don't know, maybe uh, two, three hundred contacts from our old contacts and oh, the new shit. ones. Yeah. Word of mouth is going to spread. People are going to be knowing all of this. By tomorrow. It's fucking horses again. Yeah. Let me get some of my guys to go take a look at it. Probably the law, right? Going back and forth. Probably. They are in numbers nowadays. Yeah, they ride around hunting constantly. Mm -hmm. How's business going? Wild horses or now we're just getting reaccustomed to the city. Look good. Mm -hmm. Good. City's good. Up the hill. It's a good business opportunity if I move out here. Locking I think up it the is. coast. Yeah. Work together and all that. Not sure. I think, I think he's with you over there. Is your brother all right? <laughs> what do you ask? Just always fumbling, bumbling, falling, stuttering. This is Ari. 
Welcome it's back. Been like this in birth. No, are you struggling for money, Cesare? Am I, am I struggling for money? Do I look like I'm struggling for money, kid? Eh? You want me to be honest with you? The code, is, the patchwork on that thing is, you know. Why don't you just buy a new coat? Something clean. It's, it's the style, kid. I mean, it's the style. Tell me, who can rock this coat other than myself? Who? Who do you know? You put this coat on, you be, you be looking like a fucking... Uh, uh, Clothes hanger. Yeah, clothes hanger. Exactly. Thank you. Well, that's because I um I've I'm I I've got a very thin physique. Um, I got a thin physique too, kid. I mean, well, maybe you did when you were born, but I have a feeling that you were a chubby one. Oh, <laughs> tell me, Sonny, was he a chubby child? He was, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did he First have a Did he have a, a neck? A bucket on him. <laughs> Barely. Barely. <laughs> Listen, it was hard to turn, right? It was it was hard to fucking rotate. <laughs> Listen, this is why look you see me right now, I'm rotating my whole body. I can't even look you left or right. You don't turn your head, you turn your whole body. That's right. Fucking it's web boy. Right? <laughs> That's right. Shoot webs out of my ass. We used to have to put a helmet on him because he used to hit his head so much. He still does that. Don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Sorry, have you talked to your brother about the web boy thing? Um, because Sonny, he's he's starting to back out of it like you never said yes. Look, I uh, you know I, um you know I I may have given my approval right my my nod if you will right but uh, you know no decision has been made here. So that's, uh, that's has he that chicken? Have you chickened out? Listen, listen, I'm going to be disowned from my own family that I, that me and him created. Why and, and, would that, you get disowned? Well, because uh, it's, it's against, it's against family principles. I mean, we've been telling everybody our entire life. You did not just that say bank that. jobs are a no-no. You did not fucking just say that. What? You didn't say that P word. Oh, that came out naturally. Fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck whatever. It's about right, the principle. What, what do we call it? Huh? Oh my God. Oh, that sounds so bad. <laughs> Well, what, can we... what have you become? Listen, kid, we we could we could give it a, a, um, a synonym. Yeah, uh, we call it the a the walk. I don't know the a idea. Cinnamon. The cin cinnamon. The fuck right. has that got to do with it? It's a, it's a similar word, cin cinnamon. I don't. I'm not a fan of it. You're allergic to cinnamon? No, I'm not allergic to it. I'm not a fan of it. What does that have to do with anything? What does cinnamon have to do with the price of donuts? I love cinnamon, all right? We had, we had cinnamon toilet paper. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> fuck you got man. cinnamon toilet paper? Yeah, we got cinnamon toilet paper. So, oh, in the house. So the rumors are true. Whoa, 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 what room is it true? What you enjoy. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is that <laughs> supposed to mean? I've just heard. I've heard the rumors as well. Listen, we don't use the a cinnamon old, toilet you paper. Know. <laughs> Never mind, I can't say it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Best, best you don't say it, yeah. It's coming out of your dirty mouth. You ever try mint? Mint toilet paper? Oh my god. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. So this motherfucker. Just, dude, back in the winter. It nice and fresh down there, you know what I mean? Oh my god. Back in winter, where there was just there was this broad <laughs> that was selling selling wood in, in fucking in, in, in Blackwater. That we had to buy some, you know, some wood for the for the fireplaces. Sonny, what was the what was the flavor that you got? Morning wood. Morning wood. This guy got morning wood flavored wood. You believe that? Pretty good. Favorite Cinnamon was on the list too. Goddamn right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you eat that every morning? You know, when I get a chance. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm smoking. Are right, people fighting over the there? Yeah, they gotta be careful. By the way, this is not the place for fisticuffs.
Well, it looks like Sissy got what was coming to her. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Oh, shit! So it begins, kid. Welcome to Van Horn. Ah, shit. Shit, all right. You, you may get the fuck out of here. <laughs> all right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Oh, we're fine. We're fine. It's fine. Uh, no one's freaking good. out. How many fingers am I holding up your donut? Six. That's man, all right. It's changed, all right. Man, man, yeah. one has changed. Well, it's all under control. You should get out of here, though. I, you know, in case someone saw me do that and you don't want to be seen here, you will keep your squeaky clean name intact. Squeaky clean, yeah. yeah squeaky clean. We don't want you going back to Sisigo. Hey, look, look on the bright side. It's not winter no more. No more of those yellow ice cones. <clears throat> <laughs> she didn't tell you about that, did she? It wasn't her. You heard it somewhere else. <laughs> nope. I was told. It was told to hey. everyone in jail. I'm sorry that you ate pee. Hey. Was it yours or someone else's? All right, time to go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, thank you for stopping by. Take care, yeah, yeah, take it easy. Good luck, eh? Yeah, appreciate Stop by, it. Yeah, sometime soon. Yeah. I'm gonna send a couple of telegrams real quick. You wanna come with me? Yeah, might as well. What's been going on since I was over there? Um, I, I got kicked by a dirty horse. Hand. That's pretty oh, much it. Get. You've been updated. Not much. Really not much. We spoke about if we had an extra boob, where we would put it. Uh huh. That's about it. Don't forget about the dirty hand. Oh, right. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Take care, sorry, Gumby. I'm gonna rest up here. Alright, have a good night. Good night. Ta-ta. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so step... I would put mine on the back of my head. Step one is to get another gang in here. That would be on good terms with us. And I'm thinking Hathaway. And I could probably spin it like, you know, you were just on a huge Cisco stint. They know that you're bad. No point, you know, covering in the, in the light. Join me in the dark. If I can get another gang in here that we're friends with. Have you heard it all from Rocco or anyone? Well, that's why we're going back to the telegram station. Just wasn't sure if you heard back from them when you went last time. Never responded to any of mine. He might have gone to bed. A lot of horses riding by. Did you catch who those were? No, I think they just rode into uh, town here and then rode back out. Probably you know, law then. Yeah. Probably checking the good old tip line. Full has to be down for this. I. But it's not west. Oh, I got a telegram. Hope most for security. No, no, no. We leave them in Valentine, okay? They're fine where they are. Leave them. Is that Mills? There's no fucking way. What was that, kid? I have fucking missed you, Mills. Where the fuck have you been? I've been doing a lot of thinking. Um... Can you, um... Can you join me real quick? Are you busy? I have about... Three million telegrams to go through, but I don't feel like going through them, so yeah, we can talk. Alright, alright, let me just check mine real quick. I only got a couple, probably. And we can go. 
Harry. I missed everyone. I'm sad about Jack. Hi, oh, Mills. God. Hello uh, there, Mills. Howdy, motherfuckers. Fuck yeah, dude, Mills. Good to see ya. Oh, I gotta tell him about you know, this ID. That's one way to says. introduce yourself. It is not good to see any of y'all. That is wow. a friendship and road. At least he's honest. I'll take y it. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. You want some soup? I'll be fine. Have y'all mm -hmm. seen any law around here? Not seen, but there was a big group of riders that came uh, in and out. Yeah, you you ride with you ride with me. If you're wanted, you'll be safe. Come on. Oh my god, dude! Let's bring Mills into the gang. <laughs> Fucking Mills, boy! <laughs> oh shit! Can't believe that timing. I had, to, I, I had to I had to take a second look, man. Like, is that really Mills? I haven't seen him in so fucking long, and he's just here. All right, let's go. Where the fuck have you been? Here and there. What does that mean, here or there? You know what means? I was gone, kid, but I'm back now. That's all that matters. You're back. You're still doing your own thing. Uh, that depends. I don't know where all my people are. A lot of things have been changing since I seen you last. Tell me, is uh... Has Guarma fallen off the deep end again? I haven't heard nothing about it, so I'd say so. Don't tell me you're just going back there. No, no. Last we spoke, we spoke about hands. Dude, I want to bring him in so bad. <laughs> uh, but he's got people, I think. I see. Fate, Mills, fate. Running into you like this. I was just thinking about you. Take a left here. All bad things, I hope. Naturally. Just ladies gang stepping in. That's what I'm gonna offer. Let's go! I got places to be! What the fuck? Let this fella pass. This is fucking sick. Okay. The first place you bring me is this dump. Since you wait, it gets better. <laughs> uh, come on in. Let's have a little chit chat. Make sure these fellas don't draw, yo. Yeah? yeah, we'll see. Comfortable. A lot's happened. A lot. That fella you are set me up right. with, the Italian fella. I guess that all fell through. I haven't heard from him in a long while. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't put that on me. James brought that fucking gabagoon <laughs> to you. <laughs> well, that's starting to make more sense now. I'm gonna, um, be frank with you, Blon. I am at war at the moment against the Lord Apartment. To make it plain, I took a sheriff hostage. I demanded a ransom. They set up a place to negotiate. I didn't take the hostage with me, I'm not that dumb. But it was an ambush, and they took me in. Now, 
to get me to tell them where the sheriff was, they went through many strategies, but I didn't say a fucking word. So they got desperate. Oh, wrong music. <laughs> Sorry. They picked up peaches. On the street. She wasn't wanted or nothing. Just minding her own business. They picked her up and dragged her in. Demanded she help them get the sheriff back, but she knew nothing of it. She wasn't around for it. When they knew that she couldn't help or wouldn't help, they brought her to Sisica to see me. They coughed her up. They made her kneel. They beat her. They shot her. Rabbit dug her heel into her bullet wound, kicked her in the face and broke her nose. In front of me, telling me that it would stop when I told them where Hart was. I didn't break. I if I did, I asked, so. they would do this again. Unlucky for me, or perhaps lucky for her. They found Hart. They sent on hunting parties all over. So, when they found out, they wanted to put on one last show. They took Peaches onto the gallows with another fella named Jack Reed. I think you know him. Rabbit said a lot of venomous words, talking about a writ, a lawful execution of Peaches and Jack. Rabbit took a gun to her head, pulled the trigger, and it went click. Then Malone stepped up behind Jack and said, does anyone want to say any last words to him? And before we could speak, he shot him in the back and said, too late. Not even given Jack Reed a chance to say his final words. And we were told that this was a warning not to kidnap no sheriffs again. So I'm here. In this shithole you speak of. Making my moves. Figuring out what to do next. I'll be even more blunt with you. There was a time before I got here where Van Horn was a thriving town of cutthroats and guns run by Gavin Summers. A place law feared. A place where folk like us could call home. This whole Peaches Jack situation has changed the game. The law have changed the rules. They don't want justice. 
That's what Rabbit told Peaches. It wasn't about getting heart back. It was about taking something I love. I intend to make this place thrive again, but I cannot do it alone. From what I hear, four or five gangs ran this place together. Those four or five gangs you're speaking of, kid. Where is, uh, We're Robin? hunting me down no, sorry. every day. Hey! Hey, what's happening? We're having a conversation over here. Who the fuck are you, fella? Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Jonesy, fella. Anyway, I'm looking for Alvin because there's probably going to there might be a bunch of fucking deputies coming up here. And I said he said to us when I was just he's in bed, he went to sleep. Ah, uh, well, you might have a bunch of deputies coming here soon. Appreciate it. Anyway, take it easy. I wanted are you Mills? Same old, same old. Probably looking at a thousand days or Jesus. so. Jesus. Perhaps you better go then. We'll speak again, kid. I'll leave you with this, though. This place, it can be held down. It was before. But this war you're speaking of. plan on going to war with the law the beds here do you want that to be your final bed wallaby I'm not a stupid man Mel. I know that taking on the law head-on is suicide I have my strategies, I have my plans, I have my friends, and I want more. Can you give us one moment? We got outside for a minute. Come with me. What the fuck is this? You invited the entire Muppet Brigade to your town? <laughs> it's not my town yet. Why, hello? Me and you spoke you once before about working together. You end up doing your own thing, as did I. Okay. Perhaps we can do what we wanted to do from the beginning. This place and its past, as you said, hunted you down, but those people are long dead long buried and those that are alive have scattered like rats this is our time gavin summers jack kettleman had their time we can make something special together think on it I'll see you around, kid. You be safe. Don't get yourself arrested. Yeah, you know me. I know, which is why I said it. <laughs> Give me a break. This is great! What? What'd you say? I said this place Ooh, is great! Oh. Wait! Is it Mills? Yeah, he's busy, there's law. Uh, yes, it is great. It smells like fish. It's great, I love it. All right, well, don't get too attached yet. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they used to ride together a lot. Harry, Harry. What? See this building right here? To the left. You yeah, can get all the way on the Want to walk with me for a minute? Uh -huh. Yeah, of course.
We'll go I'll down right this back. way. Oh, shit. Don't worry, he'll come back alive, maybe. Oh, I hope so. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Maybe not. What the fuck? Oh, it's Van Horn. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yep, everybody down. Yep, I don't even have guns yet. I don't who, even who, have for like no, 20 who, minutes. Who's that lady? Harry. Oh, sh sh she's with me. She's a yeah, friend. She bumped in one of the one of the locals. Oh, there. shit. Gotcha. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, I'm sure it's all sorted. Come yeah, on. sounds good. <laughs> yeah, Harry's dead. Yeah. I heard you had some uh, interest in Van Horn. Is this true? That news has gone around real quick. I heard it because so do I. Ah, okay. I got you. Yeah, it's true, actually. I was um, considering it as a base of operations for what I do. Lovely. And perhaps we can work together then. I wish to run this town. Much like I did in the saloon over at Rhodes. But I cannot do it alone. It is a town. We will need... No, be. Hmm? That's music to my ears because I had no fucking idea what I was going to be doing here. You know, I just got talked into it by a bunch of people that wanted to, to run with me, so... To hear that you want to run this place, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be much more successful in your hands than it would mine. I don't plan on running the businesses here. I plan on running the town. Gotcha. So if you want to set yourself up in one of the establishments here and work on those, bring some money in, that'd be great. And we can work together. Make this thrive again, like it did back in the old days. Well, that sounds real good, actually. What were you thinking on doing here, exactly? To be honest, I had someone else working on it for me while I've been in Sissica. You know, uh, Abigail? Oh, fucking zips. Is yeah. Sure that's a good yeah. idea, Hathaway? I mean, it's, uh, it's possibly going to cause some tensions between me and Zip. But, you know, we have business together anyway. I don't know much about the woman, but she seemed alright to me in Sissica, and uh, he's kind of connected to one of the people that run with me right now. You know Alexei? Volotsky? The butcher? I've heard. Yeah, he's, uh, he's kind of my right-hand man right now, and him and Abigail are going real close. The quills are a menace, not just to the law, to society. Whatever they touch, they destroy. Are you sure you can trust her? I'm not sure who I can trust right now, Wallaby. As uh, you might have seen in the telegram when I was first put in Sissica, someone's, uh, someone's been talking to law about the business I do. You have a rap. Hmm. We did. Did you get rid of it? I did. It's not a permanent gone rid of, it's... <sighs> it's complicated, Wallaby. I see. Well... I can't see anything happen to them, you know, it's... I'm close with them. As much as they might have done what they did... Who? Oh. I, uh... <sighs> promise me you're not going to do anything if I tell you? I promise you. It's... Appreciate it. It's, uh, at the end of the day, it's my problem. And if it becomes more of a problem, then I'll deal with it more permanently. But I lied. It was Olive. Olive turned us in. I have no idea why. Olive. I don't understand it just yet. But me and her are no longer together, and everything kind of Olive. went to shit. Yeah. Your girlfriend. Yeah. You want me to take care of it? No, please. I, I, I don't. I, um... Uh, as much as things went to shit, and she, she did whatever she did. I don't have all the facts yet. It was a suspicion for a long time, but then there's someone out here that overheard her talking with law. This breaks my so, heart. Olive was a mind. nice lady. Yep. Do you trust everyone else in your organization? As it stands, yes. I need to speak with a few of them. 
one of them over there just said that fucking Billy Boston's on his way here for some reason. You are he's fucking out. kidding me. Uh, I don't know why, but... That fella's uh... a fucking... Hey, you don't have to tell me. The guy was putting me at risk when he was uh, spying on you guys for, for the hobos. I'll deal with it if I have to, but... If we are going to work together, you have to deal with it. Yep. Yep, I don't want anything you to do with Billy Boston. I'm going to make sure that... No reason to hide in plain sight anymore. The law know what you are. Yep. You need to take control of your situation. I will be. That's happening. That's why I'm recruiting them, uh... I didn't expect to have a full six riding with me the moment I came back on from Sissica, but they're all waiting, so things are looking all right. Riding, but, uh, anyone can to. ride. Yeah. I've got issues right now with the law. You know, they were gonna they were gonna make it seem like I ratted on everyone and try and pin a target on my back so that they didn't have to deal with me. They were gonna get everyone I work with to do it. This is what I'll offer then. I'm running Van Horn. You and your people are welcome here until you work out your situation. Once you have, we talk business. See what piece of the pie you can have. It sounds good. You have any objections to uh, us running the saloon in the meantime? I'll talk to my people about that. All right. We're um, we're gonna have things sorted by the week's end. Mm. Guarantee it. Clean your fucking house, Hathaway. Yep. It'll get done. I don't know what this link with fucking Boston is, but I'm gonna squash it immediately. He's got to go. Yep. Hmm. It might be too much of a mess, man. We'll see. We won't bring him in. We'll just, we'll see what happens. Foot down. Oh, they're not in. You want bonds? Of course I do. Always. Go it off. You have a box of bonds? Uh, no, just gold. Are you sure? Because I got a box of gold. My box has three gold and some guns in it. Uh, Pete gave it to me, so. If we did have bonds, somebody else might have them, but I'm not too sure. Hmm. Alright, let me check mine. Scott, do you know where the bonds are? Uh, pfft, no idea. Great job. Everyone, great job. Son of a bitch. How do I get Might have been. No, wait, you, wait. You had the bonds. You jumped. No, I didn't. No, not you. Uh, sorry, Wallaby. Wallaby, Wallaby had, you had the bonds oh, I do, and I the do. gems. I do, I do, I do. Great job, great job, great job. <laughs> great job. I don't like fucker. your tone, Scout. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. We have 50. Sounds good. What is that? Calculator? 50 times 30? So what's that? 1500. Let's make it 1750. I was away for a while. I need to make up for my absence, you know? Yeah. Done and done. 30, 35 each this time. Hey, let me just down this real quick. You got the money on you. Pretty sure to get yeah. Down, you oh shit. The lower one that you jump All right. Yeah, I got a, uh, I got a couple of meets happening here in a second. Uh, Pro gang should be here soon as well. Pro gang here. Yeah. All right. That's not a problem, right? Never met him. Then you can just fall down to this one. There you are. I'd recommend uh, using your eyes for this one. All right. Awesome. Yeah. In the box. In this box. So you, don't you can grab the five.
It's all right, I need you to come down too. here. Oh, there you are. All right. I need you to go to the bank and take this. All the way to the bank? Yes, all the way to the bank. Go to Saint Denis. Okay. There you are. Can Scout come with me? Yeah, I was sure. about to offer that. Don't want you getting robbed out there. Uh, we can all go. That works too. It has nothing to do with it. All right, all right. It's simply to negate <laughs> the slimy man that approached me in a slimy manner. Gotcha. Summer's Revenge would be a cool name. Yeah, maybe. I haven't decided yet. All right. Appreciate that. Yeah, not a problem. We'll be back in a bit. We're going for, we're going to send Denae real quick. All right. You ever want to sell those gems as well? You uh, you keep me in mind. Yeah, we'll let you know we're time. stocking up at the moment, so. All right. We'll Good be in touch, potentially. Good to see you all. We'll be around here. Ta-ta now. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Take care. Bye now. We all take care. Harry, be careful. Hey. I, I am being careful. Oh, let's go. Ah, oh, this guy is smitten with Harry. I know. I know. We're, we're four hours? Oh, okay, we're perfect timing. <laughs> Van Horn is the best. I wouldn't. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Give me a they second. Got a bath and everything. Uh, really, I didn't know that. Plenty of roofs to sit on. <laughs> yeah. Give me a couple minutes. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this stream is brought to you by Express VPN. If you are someone like me, lives in a country that doesn't have, you know, access to all the streaming sites and all the shows and movies, I mean, you need a VPN. It's super easy. All you gotta do is download it and uh, you can change your region. So if you're in Australia, you can watch American shows on Netflix or vice versa. And also keeps you safe too. Now we got a link down underneath the stream or if you put in exclamation point ExpressVPN in the chat, click on the link. If you use my personal link, you will get a special deal just for you guys and you get three months free. Three whole months. You hear that chat? Let me see. Let me hear in the chat. Oh my God, three months? I know, crazy, right? No, it's not a condom for me. No, it's not that. Okay, listen, it's 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 something that everyone needs. Okay, trust me. Once you start using it, you're gonna see what I mean. Click on the link in the chat. Hook yourself up. Get those three three months free while they're sponsored for me. Also, it supports the stream. Keeps me running. Keeps keeps it commercial free. And we can keep doing this as a full time job, man. Hell's yeah. No way. Listen, it's a good deal. It's a great deal, in fact. Three months, God forbid. <laughs> All right, we'll see where I don't. We'll see where how this arc goes, man. It's gonna. This could get crazy. This could get crazy. K sins, dude. You done already? Bro, we have to work together. This is the this is the arc, dude. This is the arc. Sponsor money goes to another shelf. No, actually, it doesn't, mate. It goes to keeping my fucking power on. <laughs> it's hard times. I was on just check my telegrams. Oh, fair enough. Sorry, dude. I pulled you into this fucking this this major RP. It's gonna be huge, man. Dude, are you gonna be playing Mills more? Please tell me you are. Please. The RP potential is through the fucking roof. Through the roof, man. There's a lot of problems at the moment. Well, I can be the solution, man. That'd be badass. 
It really would. And what a way for Mills to stick it to all those people that used to chase him down, huh? Now he runs Van Horn. Woo. Huge. That was a lot of horses. I don't know if that was law or not. Be around gonna leave for a meta though. Yeah, dude. Good to see you. I was so fucking hyped to see Mills, man. <laughs> Been too long. Let's, let's just have Mills just join DEG, man. Let's just do it. Let's just have him join DEG. Him and Alice. Let's go. Bobby's probably wanted for shooting up the sheriff's office in Valentine. Only if uh, the bathhouse ratted. But they're not rats, man. None of them ever rat, ever. Especially Tommy, man. Never, ever. Deputies coming up on our right. Good night, folks. Howdy. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Eastwick. Just riding by, fella. Don't get too excited yeah. yet. I want to see if we can even get people over there first. I believe mm -hmm. that saloon had nobody in there, and then boom! <laughs> Instantly brought Put someone. In the hard work. Put in the hard work. <laughs> everybody did their part, and the business grew. There's a lot of people I gotta talk to first. Between two big towns, so we can never be too sure. I'm gonna turn to the slaughterhouse. I'm gonna right. turn in for the night. Uh, I know what you guys are thinking. It's a short stream. Yeah, it is a bit of a short one, but I started late. Started late. We might be back tomorrow. I'm excited where this arc's gonna go, man. We got so many people to fucking meet. I want, I want Moxie. I even want to meet. I want to meet Speedy about this too. That'd be cool. All right, I'll see you as maybe tomorrow. Stay out of trouble till then, yeah? All right. I'll do my best. Good night, follow me. Oh, dude. Whew. That was cool. Oh, I didn't expect it to go this direction. I mean, it, it, it might not work. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. It might not work. But it's an idea. It's a direction. Reminds me of Ab. We'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, let's see. How I'm gonna sing you too. Let's go with Minx. Let's go, Minx. Said she wanted to talk to me, and she hasn't got back to me in like fucking two hours, man. Unbelievable. All right. All right. 
I'll see you probably tomorrow. It's gonna be cool. I, I I feel like I feel like doing the war stuff and using like that to build like Van Horn up would be cool. I think that'd be cool. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You never know. You never know. Uh, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Shout out to my sponsor, ExpressVPN. Um, and for everyone that supported the stream, all the subs, the resubs, the gifted subs, big shout out to Alcatraz if you're still here, man, for the huge donor today. Uh, Loonza. Also to you. Champion. You guys are awesome. But anyway, till next time. I love yous. Ta-ta. And farewell.